A very quick audio test before we start. Hello if you're watching this, we'll be going live in about a minute. And good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, it is the start of uh, UK Games Expo virtually. So virtually Expo, I say the start, we actually sneaked in a playthrough two hours before it started, which was simulating the fact that we were sat outside the main hall waiting for the doors to open and we sat and played a game. So yeah, virtually Expo has officially opened its doors and here we are with the first demo that I'm running this weekend of five of Lost Ruins of Arnak. This is a prototype copy of a game. It's been built on Tabletop Simulator. Just got finished about half an hour ago. Um, yeah, so this is a new game that's coming out from Czech Games Edition. It'll be coming out later this year. Uh, normally, CGE release games around the time for Essen, and they're gonna do the same this year. Even though Essen isn't happening physically this year, uh, October is the day that they're gonna, or the month that they're aiming to release these games. So yeah, this is the new big box game from Czech Games Editions, designers, uh, Min and Elwin, two new designers. Um, and yeah, this is gonna be a tutorial and a playthrough. And as I say, I'm doing five of these videos over the weekend, so you don't need to watch them all. But if you are here, we've got a few people here. Chris is here, Rick's here, Mike's here. Uh, and Zerap here from France is here. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, so I'm not going to be playing tonight. I'm going to be focusing on teaching the game to three other people. Uh, and if I switch over to Discord, hopefully these three people are here. Hello, people. Hello. There you Hello. go. How are you doing? Hello, Rock. Good. How are you? Long time no speak to. <laughs> but it almost feels like today. It almost feels like a couple of hours ago. So earlier on today, previously on the Gaming Rules channel, uh, Russ and Tom have just saved the planet from alien invasion. So thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Yep, my pleasure. <laughs> um, but we are also joined tonight by the one and only Mr. Matthew Evans from Creaking Shelves. How are you doing, Matt? Do we have Matt's audio? No, we don't. Oh, that's I'm embarrassing. I'm hearing him for a bit. He he's there somewhere. He's there. He'll what come out he when he's good and ready. Is this what it's like now when he's living in Prague? He's... he's... Anyway, Matt's here. Matt's moved to the Czech Republic recently. Um, he'll be here in a bit, hopefully. We can't hear him at the moment. I don't know if you can hear us, Matt, but we can't hear you. Uh, and I've just noticed that I now have no title bar at the bottom of the screen. So bear with us a minute. I am just going to add a title bar to the bottom of the screen. Uh, okay, so this is Lost Ruins of Arnak. <clears throat> go and apparently there is echo coming from the discord channel bear with us a minute let's just listen back to this i'm not hearing any echo on the youtube so i'm not quite sure what's going on there uh yeah tony's just sent me a message and said there's echo coming from discord but i'm not hearing it can you two just talk for a minute yep hello um how's it going under falling skies <laughs> was great <laughs> And I'm going to listen back to it. Mm. Okay, there is a little bit of echo there. Let me see. It might be coming from Matt because I can see he's making like sound, but it's not. Uh, I can't hear yeah. him speak. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. It may come from Matt, so we can we can test this. Uh, yeah, because Matt's audio is not working, and we're not sure why. Um, is that I can mute Matt and see if that fixes the audio problem. Um, so yeah, Tony is saying we're getting echo off audio from the Discord channel. We can hear you talking to the Discord channel. Okay, 
So let's see why that is. I don't know why that would be because I've not done anything different from what I did earlier on. So let's unmute Matt. Um, no, I've used exactly the same process as I've used earlier on. Um, so I don't know where the echo is coming from, but I'm listening back to it on YouTube and it sounds fine. Echo of audio from the Discord channel. We can hear you talking to the Discord channel. Cool. Okay, so let's see why that is. I don't know why that would be. Yeah, that's so me listening back to myself. Um, so apologies for this, but there are, um, if you are having audio issues, if you can hear any audio, uh, then yeah, please let, please let me know. Because um, it sounds fine to me, but I'm getting reports that there is audio coming back. It's like there's a private conversation happening. Um, yeah, I mean we are we are chatting on Discord, uh, and I am streaming my system audio. So, okay, it's good now. I've not done anything, <laughs> but apparently it's all good. So no issues on YouTube. Sounds fine. Uh, except you are now listening to yourself. Yes, which I was. Okay, so it's all good, except um, the audio and the visual on YouTube is out of sync. Is it? Let me have a look. No, looks good to me. I'm watching myself back on YouTube and it's all working. So the the only problem we've got at the moment is we can't hear Matt. Mm -hmm. So Where are you, Matt? Yeah. How, now, in, in, the, in the moment where I was saying hello to the audience, did you manage to hear Matt at all? No, no. No. Right. Okay. So we may have a problem then, Matt. Uh, I don't know if you can hear us. Can you hear us, Matt? Do you have a different microphone? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll try and get Matt on. While you were doing the intro, but he didn't oh, you could reply, hear him then, so could you? Yeah, he didn't reply though, so I assume he couldn't hear me. Right. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to jump in and we'll see if we can start this because obviously people are watching and we'll try and get Matt on at some point, but I don't know if Matt can hear us. If Matt can't hear us, he's going to miss the explanation. Can you open the YouTube video and listen to <laughs> us there? Okay, technical issues, but at least it's not my, my technical issues this time, which is, which is good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if we can't get Matt working, we are going to have to shift to a two-player game. Or we can try switching to Messenger, in case it is just Discord that's not working uh, for Matt. Matt is in the game, I can see his mouse Matt, moving Matt around. is in the game. The other yeah. option is that we can actually use uh, the Tabletop Simulator chat. So there yeah. is a way that you can talk directly within Tabletop Simulator, which is what I'm using now. <laughs> so. Yeah. I think that's God speaking, isn't it? Yeah, shall we shall we try that? Shall we shall we um I will I will deafen this Discord channel and if you go to Tabletop Simulator and enable audio oh. within Tabletop Simulator, which is normally the button C, see if that works. Right. So I have deafened myself on the Discord channel and we'll wait to see, see? if the other people arrive. Hello? I can, yeah, I, I can hear I, you, Tom. I can hear a distant map. Right. Come on, Matt, press the C button, <laughs> if you can hear us. You probably can't hear me now. Matt's in Discord now. Matt's in the Discord channel, is he? Right, okay, well, let's, let's, go, back to, let's go back to Discord then. Let's mute myself from here. Let's go back to Discord. And is Matt here? Hello? Hello. Saying things. Right. I can, can hear, hear you now. guys now. We can oh, hear no, you. Perfect. Hey, right. Okay, so Thank apologies God. for that. We are we are here. It's all good. Um, I just need to make sure that I'm now muted in Tabletop Simulator because otherwise my audio is going to be going out twice. How do I mute myself uh, in Tabletop Simulator? There was a minute. Configuration. Uh, graphics. Sound. Yeah, I can't remember where it is. Let me know if the audio is all okay. Because, um, yeah, I mean, you lot can probably hear me twice if the tabletop simulator is picking me up as well. Yeah, I can hear you like twice. Harry. You can hear me twice. Right, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. See, I, I think thought... we should just keep doubling up your voice. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Done it. I just has ah. to pre I had to press C 17 times. Right, we are all good. <laughs> Whew. Excellent. Got there in the end. Right, we got there in the end. So apologies for that. Thank what you for bearing with us. Now, and Matt, Matt is here. Here's I only have tabletop simulator audio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Matt now can't hear me. Um, 
Matt, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Matt? Okay. Ah, oh, no. Yeah. I, I, I can um, try and get him to sort stuff up if you want to. Um, I, yeah. I chat on Discord. I, th I think the other option is that we just switch over to um, to Messenger for the chat. So we'll do that because there's there's obviously something wrong with Matt and Discord that isn't working. So bear with us a minute. We're going to switch over to uh, Messenger. Switching to Messenger. Right. Okay. So I'm going to leave this voice chat and let's go over to Messenger because we've got a Messenger group set up for the three of us. So I'm going to switch over to that and we will get everybody working. Go make a cup of tea or something. I've got mine here, which is stewing nicely away. Oh, except Messenger had a problem for me earlier on. So... Let's see if that works. Yeah, we did try testing this this afternoon, but unfortunately Matt wasn't available. So, <laughs> uh, right, let's go into here. Right, brilliant. My messenger has stopped working. Ah, just what we need. It's working fine on my iPad, but not working, not working here. So let's pull that up. Uh, Matt is here, Russell, Matthew and Tom, and let's do an audio call through Messenger and see if this works. Right, I'm now calling them. Let's see if anybody responds. I think Tom's responded. Yeah, Tom has joined the call. Hello, Tom. Yeah, I can hear somebody. Hello. Hello. We've got you. Yay. There's something <laughs> up with your microphone and Discord. Yeah, it's my first time using Discord for yeah. anything yeah. real. That's all right. We got uh, it working. Voice. Uh, let's let's hope the other two can join us soon. <laughs> but how are you doing while you're here uh, on your own? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good, thank you. When did you move to Prague? It was a few weeks uh, ago, now, wasn't it? It was. We have been there here two and uh, two weeks, two right. weeks in a day. Just settling in. Pretty much, yeah. I've just had yeah. my first week of full time work again. Right. But it's all work from home for me, so it's yes. fine. Yeah. But it was that before you moved to Prague, so I guess nothing's it's different. <laughs> yeah, not, not usually. <laughs> the biggest change is that I'm now living in a village rather than in a city. Yeah. Um, so you're not in Prague itself then? Are you just outside no, Prague? No, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Surrounding right. countryside. Right, cool. Right, do we have Russ and Tom? I hope so. Yep, Hello. we do. <laughs> Excellent. Right, we're all here. Let's jump in. So Lost Ruins of Arnak. Again, thank you very much for bearing with us during the technical issues. We're going to be playing through a three-player game tonight of Lost Ruins of Arnak. It is for two to four players, but there is going to be a solo mode included in the game as well. I'm not going to be playing. I'm just going to be teaching and facilitating the game tonight. Uh, and we're going to jump in and we're going to start playing as soon as possible. That means I'm probably not going to explain every rule in every little detail before we start. We'll kind of explain the rules as we go along. Thematically, this game is set around the time of the 1930s and there is this island which has been it's been previously undiscovered it has now been discovered uh, and you are all teams of archaeologists going to the island to try and do research archaeological digs that kind of thing now there are guardians on this island strange creatures that have uh, yeah a bit unusual so you're going to be facing dangers um but yeah, you're basically going to be exploring the land and doing research and stuff like that. Now, me uh, mechanics-wise, or mechanisms-wise, this is a combination between a worker placement and a deck building game with a few twists. So at the start of the game, each of you, you will notice, has six cards face down. That is your deck. You only have six cards. So if you can give that a shuffle, and if you can draw five of those cards into your hand. Now, do you all know how to draw five cards into your hand easily? Uh, uh, not right, right click. No, there's an easier way. There's an easier way. If you move your mouse over your deck, yeah, and yeah. tap the number five, but don't tap it twice. Just tap it once. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Right now, it, it's one of those tips within Tabletop Simulator, and the reason is um, there is a little bit of a delay built in, and that delay is deliberate 
so that you can actually type bigger numbers. So if you wanted to draw 15 cards from your deck, you'd type 1-5. But because of that delay, some people press the 1 and go, oh, it's not done anything. I'll press 1 again. And then it draws 11 cards into their deck. Anyway, you've drawn exactly. 5 cards into your hand. So um, now, I, because I've got GM privileges, I can actually see all of your hands, but I, I'm assuming you can't see each other's hands. I cannot. Right, OK, that's good. There are only three types of cards that you actually have in your starting deck. There are two fear cards, which are generally not good cards, but they're not completely okay. useless. OK, there are um, two funding cards, which will generate you gold when you play them. And there are two exploration cards. So out, you've got two of each, which is what your six card deck is. You've drawn five of them into your hand. OK, this game is played over five rounds. You can see which round we're on by this scepter here. So we're currently mm -hmm. in round one. At the end of round one, we're going to move the scepter to here. That will be round two, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's five rounds That's in cool. the game. Okay. In each round, you are going to basically take it in turns, and I'm going to roll now to decide who goes first. So uh, one, two, it's Russ. Three, four, it's Tom. Five, six, it's Matt. Two. Right, Russ, you're the start player. So we're going okay. to give you the. Now this is a prototype. Okay. This is not the finished game at all. So you're oh, the start player. I thought it was player. me. I thought it was me on that picture. It's, it looks a little that like you, doesn't it? would be impressive. Yes, it would. <laughs> so you're going to basically take a turn, OK? Then Tom's going to take a turn. Then Matt's going to take a turn. And so on and so on and so forth, right? You're all going to keep taking turns. Once you've, all deci once you've decided that you've, you've done enough, you will pass. And when all of you pass, that's the end of the first round. But one thing that is quite different from a lot of other deck builders is you will not draw back up to five cards at the end of your turn. You will only draw back up to five cards at the start of the next round, okay? So the cards you currently have in your hand, they are the cards that you will use for the whole of this round. There are certain abilities that allow you to draw cards, but other than that, you've got those. Now, we've also got the board set up for a three-player game. What that means is that you notice these five, these are like base camp tiles here. These are going to have individual artwork when the game comes out. I have randomly decided three of them and I have I have scribbled on them with a blue marker right now in the game itself oh, yeah. that is going to be a nice little token that you use to cover it over but just for today I've I've, I've drawn on it with a blue pen okay in a four player game nothing would be covered up and in a two player game these two boots here would be covered over as would these two also this legend here or this research board whatever they're going to call it in the end I have taken out two of the tiles again that's because it's a three player game uh, if this was a four-player game, it would be fully occupied. And in a two-player game, we would also take out the tiles from the top row. OK, so there's a slight variation based on blame, based on player setup. OK, so uh, Russ, you're going to be taking the first turn. Now, they have quickly updated the mod and added in some player reference sheets. Mm -hmm. OK, basically on your turn, you do one main action. That's all you're allowed to do, one main action but you may do as many free actions as you want to. And if you look at some of the cards you've got in your hand, you'll notice there's a lightning bolt followed by a compass or mm -hmm. a lightning bolt followed by a gold. That means you can play that card, and I'm just going to steal one of your cards, Russ. What you do mm -hmm. is you play it above your player board, it's a free action, and you take a gold from here and put it in here. Okay. Now, there's, there is one thing that I'd forgotten to do, and that is your starting resources. So just bear with us a minute, because I do have this on screen somewhere. Uh, here we go, setup sheet. Right, the start player gets two gold, player two gets one gold and one compass, and player three gets two gold and one compass. So if you can each take your starting resources. Sweet. Uh, so these these here, these are infinite are bags. They? They're here. Ah, right. So you just, just take them from there and put them on your on your player board. Okay. Two and one, did you say? Uh, you were player three, so yeah, you are two gold, one compass. What did I need? One of each. You needed one of each. Okay, so free actions are the cards that you start with in your hand. And any time you see the lightning bolt, that means it's a free action. And you can do as many of those on your turn as many times as you want. Okay, let's pop that back in your hand. Right, now let's go through the different actions that you can do. The first thing you can do is an archaeologist action. Now, you start the game with two archaeologists. In fact, I say start the game with two archaeologists. You've got two archaeologists. There's no way of getting any more. And one of the things that you can do as an action is you can send one of those archaeologists to a dig site. 
-hmm. Now, the dig sites down here, these are available at the start of the game. But in order to go onto one of these dig sites, you need to spend three compasses. Okay. Because they're further away. So that represents you're spending time in uh, exploring. If you want to go to one of these ones up here, it's going to cost you six compasses. So you're not mm -hmm. going to be doing that at the start of the game. At the start of the game, you're probably going to be wanting to go to either one of the base camp tiles, possibly even one of these as well. Okay. Now, as well as spending the required compasses, you must also spend the travel icon, which is printed on the space. So if you see the space here, this one has one boot. So to place your archaeologist on there, you have to spend one boot. And if we just go back to your cards in your hand, you will notice ah, yeah. every card has a travel icon in the top left. So you notice when I said the fear uh, cards were not quite completely useless, they have a boot on them. So you can play a fear card from your hand uh -huh. for the boot. Okay? Giving so might, fear the boot, you might you say. Fear the boot. <laughs> you can either play a card for its travel icon or for its ability. Okay? Okay. So to place an archaeologist there will cost a boot. Uh, normal worker placement rules apply. In other words, there can only be one archaeologist per space. And going to a base camp tile gets you whatever's printed on them. So that's two gold, two compasses, two tablets, um, an arrowhead. This icon here means you must discard a card. Now, when it says discard, one of the unique things with this game is that there's no discard pile. So when it says discard a card, it actually means play a card from your hand to your played area, but you don't generate any effect whatsoever. So that is that is discarding a card, okay? Therefore, that actually is more expensive, but it does get you a jewel, and jewels are really powerful. Okay, so they're the five base camp actions. That's placing an archaeologist. If you want to go to one of these places, there is, there is benefits of doing so, because there are these idols, you will get a bonus. You'll also explore the site, that will get you bonuses. But there is a guardian. On all of these locations here, there is a guardian. Uh, and if you don't manage to overcome that guardian in the round, then you will gain a fear card for having to run away from it. Okay? Now, that's not too bad. There are a lot of benefits for the spaces that are on there. But notice the travel icons. You need jeeps to get over this side, and you need boats to get over this side. And if you look at the top, you need two jeeps and two boats. Now, at this point, I'm just going to mention that there is, a, there is an, a hierarchy of travel icons. So on your sheet, you can always use a jeep or a boat as if it was a boot. You could use a plane as if it was anything. And if you're really stuck, you can spend two gold. Two gold counts as any travel icon. OK? Right, the next thing you can do is to play a card for its effect, but none of you have any cards with any effects at the moment other than the free actions. So let's cover the next two things, which is buying a card and buying an artifact. This is the market up here. We have five pieces of equipment uh, and we have one artifact. That is based on the position of this marker. So when we go to round two, we're going to have one extra artifact and one fewer piece of equipment. You buy equipment with gold. The cost is in the bottom left. Is it called equipment? Item. It's called item. So you buy, it, buy an item by spending the gold printed in the bottom left of the card, and that card will go on the bottom of your deck. So it, you, you'll take it, flip it face down, you'll put it on the bottom of your deck. And because your deck is so small, that means you are guaranteed to get that card the following turn. And they're fairly self-explanatory, what they do on them. If you've got any questions about them, let me know. The artifact works in a different way. First of all, artifacts don't cost gold, they cost compasses to buy. But an artifact, when you buy one, it actually goes straight into play and you can immediately use the ability printed on it just from buying the card. Okay? The difference is an item, once you have an item, that is your item. And every time you play the card, you get to do the ability on it. So that will be multiple times per game. The artifacts, you only get to use the ability once when you first buy the card. Then later in the game, when that card comes back out of your deck and into your hand, if you want to use it again, you have to pay a tablet. Now you can just see that that's printed there. Okay. So that's the two different types of cards that you can buy. There are lots of different combos that you can set up in the game. It's your first game, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. 
Uh, research. Right, let's look at the research track. This is over here on the right-hand side. You are, you, each player has two research markers. You have a magnifying glass and you have a book, okay? To move one of your markers up to the next space, you spend the resources shown. So you can move to here by spending a jewel, or you could move to here by spending a compass and an arrowhead, okay? Moving up gets you the immediate benefit printed on the right-hand side of the board. So in this case, this is a magnifying glass, you would get a coin. And if there was a tile on the space, you would immediately get the benefit of that tile and the tile would be removed from the game. So there is a little bit of a race element to this. Now, the reason why you've got two markers is so that you can make double progress on the research track. But thematically, you've got to do the research. You've, you've got to look for stuff first and you've got to find stuff. Then you can write about it. And the way this works in the game is your book marker can never be further ahead than your magnifying glass. Okay? So. Can it go on the same space? It can go on the same space, yes. Okay. Okay? So whenever you, uh, yeah, whenever you place this magnifying glass, you will get the bonus printed on the right hand side. And whenever you place a book, you will get this bonus that's printed on the right hand side. Okay? And this here is an assistant. You get one of these assistants, and that'll give you bonuses for the rest of the game. We'll explain that a bit more when you do it. At the very, very top of the research track, this is the Lost City of Arnak itself. Loads of points are available if you manage to get all the way up to the top. We can explain that in a bit more detail later on. Uh, the next action to explain is overcoming a guardian. Nobody has found a guardian yet, so we can ignore that. And then there is pass. Right. Let's jump in and start playing. Do you need to know any more before we start? Um, um, said... Sorry, carry on. Well, well, I'm I'm somewhat concerned about these rumours about guardians. Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh, no, 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 okay. no, no. Be fine. Be fine. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Be fine. Yeah, be fine. Okay, good. Yeah, just uh, just persuade one of the other players to go and do some searching before you, and then uh, they'll find the danger. Okay. <laughs> what this... you mean danger? <laughs> <laughs> um, thematically, this pug does it does it actually rescue people? So that, that icon there where there's a card with a red X, that is called Exile. Exile oh, okay. it means remove a card out of your deck, out of the game. Okay? Oh, like a fear card. It's a bit of a vicious pug, isn't it? It is a vicious pug. <laughs> um, also, I just wanted to ask about the cards on the top. Um, yes. In uh, the market, yep. Exile this card to man on space. Yeah, so place one of your archaeologists on a space with a discount of a plane. Now, remember, a plane counts as any one icon, so it basically mm -hmm. means you can use the hot air balloon. It's a one-off card, which is why it says exile this card. Yeah. And you get to place your archaeologist on a space, you get a discount of a plane, and if you were discovering a new site, in other words, one of these in tier one or tier two, you get a discount mm -hmm. of three compasses. So it's a, it's a one-off card that allows you to go to one of these sites a lot cheaper. Oh, by the way, Every card in the bottom right has a number in a purple gem. That is the victory points that that card is worth at the end of the game. Anytime okay. you see a number in a purple icon, it, it, it means victory points at the end of the game. Okay. Well, considering I don't have any... Um, uh, well, I don't have enough compasses to uh, thingy. I think my first action is probably going to be to buy this card. Um, yep. Yeah, so it costs you two gold. I, yeah. Uh, so I'll... I'll take those and I'll play them in my play area. Uh, well, you've got two gold already. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, so you, is it better to keep the cards then? It is better to keep the cards because then you've got the flexibility because you could use the cards as travel actions. Okay. Okay, so you spend the two gold, take oh, the card. Yeah. yeah. Okay, flip it over. Yeah. And then what you need to do is move the rest of your deck to one side, put that, yeah. put that on your space, and then put that card on top. There you go. And that is your go done. That is your action. Sweet. Tom. Oh dear. Okay. I will. I can just waste my person on one of these spaces. You can. Yep. Resources. I will. I'll grab some more gold. Okay. Oh, no. So you put it on right there. Yep. And that's me. Okay. So one of the things that I do in Tabletop Simulator, Tom, is in the sort of top middle right. There's the little icon of the guy lifting the weights. I'll look at him. 
Yeah. If you click on that, and I, re I reduce the lift height down really low. Ah, okay. It basically means every time you pick up an object, it won't pick it up as much. It's just one of those things. Right. Matt. Yeah. What would you like um, to do? I think... Oh, there's a couple I of gold like here. I don't know what that's doing. To uh, go get some compasses. Okay. So... Oh, Tom, did you play a boot for that? You needed to play a boot. Oh, I can play a boot. Yeah, you can play a boot. Just play a fear card. There you go. Sorted. Right. So I play a fear card somehow. <laughs> oh, God. How do I do that? There we there go. You go. Got it. Done. I have played a fear card and I move my cuboid shaped worker. Yeah. There. Yeah, there and I get two compasses. Get two Fabulous. compasses. Russ, you'll go. Um, what do you generally use arrowheads for? I can see you use them to move up this track here. but So the... arrowheads are good at overcoming guardians. Oh, okay. Mm. They're um, the things that Matt's going to go and fight for everybody. What? <laughs> Well, well, fighting. <laughs> I just um, obviously at my plan at the moment was I took a card that's going to let me discover a new area, and that's going to unleash a guardian. Now, is it my it is. responsibility as the person who unleashed it to, to kill it, or no, is no. Everyone, everyone's going to punished? Not at all. Okay, so I can just unleash things and not bother fighting them. Uh, you get yeah. fear. You will get a fear if if you are uh, on a space with a guardian at the end of your turn. You will get a fear card. Oh, okay. I don't want to do that. So maybe I'll 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 take. Um, I I could buy this card. I oh, feel like getting hang cards. on. I forgot yeah. to do the market. I have to say this is the first time I've taught the game. So bear with me a minute. My teaching of this game will get better as the weekend goes on. <laughs> okay. But yes. So I can just buy more cards. You can just buy more cards. Sweet. And there's no extra cost for going for these ones, is there? Nope. Ones the no, right. Okay. None at all. Um, I mean, yeah. Maybe I'll just spend. All spend all your money. <laughs> buy some all cards. All my money yeah. on buying cards. Yeah. Uh, I think I will uh, take, well, that one gets me jewels. And jewels, you said, are very powerful. Jewels are powerful, yeah. They're the most actually, valuable of the three different things. I know it's crazy, but I'm probably just going to buy the pickaxe. Uh-huh. So that costs you I'm one gold, which you don't yet. currently have. But I have a, a card in my hand. Exactly. Can you can so. play that as a free ah, action. Uh, there we go. Generate right. a gold. Yeah. So hang on. Let me just flip that. And, then and that's another goes. item. Right. Um, oh shoot! I put it in my hand. There we go. There you go. <laughs> All done. right, and then I'm done. Tom, I'm gonna buy the journal. I think. So oh, uh, yeah. Do you want to not see what the next card was going to be, just in case? I don't think it's going to be a journal. If it's a fancier journal, it's a wristwatch. Well, no way. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. And you paid for that? Yep. Okay, done. Back to Matt. All right, uh, I'm gonna buy uh, the Serpent's Gold with all my compasses. Oh, right, okay, so you're buying the artifact. Why not? Right, it's a yeah, thing why that's not there. indeed. Does that uh, get... So oh. I just... You spend the three compasses and that goes uh, into so... play. Oh, I can your grab board. multiple things at once, can't I? That would be helpful. Does that get refilled, Paul? It will, yeah. Sweet. Oh, no, I hope you don't get a bad one. Okay, so you gain four gold. Four gold? Four gold. That's going to oh, take me forever to drag. And a fear card. <laughs> you can just hover over and press four on the thing. Can you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God, this is amazing technology. It's almost as good as real life. <laughs> Except they've gone into your hand. Oh. So you just you just need to put them there. Okay. Um, oh, I guess it's my turn again now. But do you want do you want to know do you want to know another little tip for tabletop oh. simulator? Okay. Yes. So you, move, you move your mouse over something and left click it. Right. And then and then every and then while you're holding down the left mouse button, see what's happening. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, you just got them. A, I see. Oh wow! Look at all okay. that. Okay. Um, so yeah, basically left click and hold. And then every time you press the right mouse button, it picks up another one. So, so. Um, just to check, this card, the sundial, um, this one, 
gives me uh, uh, two things. But if I chose to what not gain them, I can gain a jewel instead. Uh, okay. Sundial. I'm hoping Elwyn's going to be in the chat to let me know how that one works, because that is immediately get two tablets or pass to get a jewel. Now, pass is one of the things that you can do, which basically means you're out for the round. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what that means. I think that means when you buy this artifact, you may choose to pass. In other words, you are out for the rest of the round and get a jewel. But it comes back into my hand at the end of the round? Uh, no, it will go. All your cards that you've played at the end of the round are going to get shuffled and put on the bottom of your deck. Yeah, so including this one. Including that one, yeah. So, so the next time I reveal it or play it from my hand, I can mm -hmm. be like the last card I go on my turn. Absolutely. I can be like, I'm playing this, playing yep. a tablet, but gaining a jewel. Yes. Yeah, Got it. Absolutely. Okay. Let's take that then. That sounds like a, okay. an interesting tactic. So I have to pay for this using two, two compasses. cards. Yeah. Uh, two, yeah, two compasses. Yeah. That and then uh, get two tablets, right? It is immediately get two tablets. Yep. Yeah. All right. Sweet. And uh, let's just put these over here. Okay. Oop, not there. And then uh, I think that I am done. That's it, yeah. Back to Tom. Reveal another artifact. So I, I can play something better than a foot to still get a foot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. That's just play... a great sentence out of context. Yeah, it's so like how Absolutely. you can drive somewhere instead of walking somewhere. It's yeah, exactly. See? It's very thematic. It, it does fit thematically. Like you were, if you were trying to buy a boot and someone gave you a car. <laughs> well, I, I'd then sell the car and buy two boots, surely. <laughs> Cars go cheap out there, don't they? Or, or shoes are very expensive. And mm -hmm. It's a car from the 1950s. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So there was a question in the chat to say, fear goes straight to your hand or your discard pile. I'm pretty sure um, cards that you acquire during the round go to your hand. I'm just going to switch over. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, is that a change? Is that the that... ones you buy? No, no, no. Uh, well, no, items definitely go to the bottom of your deck. Artifacts definitely go into play, but here, this card here that Matt just got, oh, that yeah, okay. says fear card, sure. I think that goes into your hand. I will okay. double check that. Oh, I see. If you get a card from a... Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, they're worth so minus right. one point as well. I think my item's on the top of my deck, actually. <gasps> Should be on the bottom. There we go. How do you win the game? You get points. Yeah, after five rounds, we'll tot up the points and then it'll be, yeah, the player with the most points will win. Uh, and every time you see a number in a purple thing, that means it's points. Uh, have you uh, have you finished, uh, Tom? Yeah. You probably finished okay. ages ago. Right, um, I've got, yeah, yeah, I've got tons of cash, so I'm going to go buy an airplane. Cause... That's because you raided the serpent's gold. <laughs> um, I think you'll find I uh, bought it with some delightful compasses. I sold him three compasses. Uh, uh, so does this go? So do you say this goes to the bottom of my deck? Yeah, that will go to the bottom of your deck. So you just need to flip Brilliant. that card face down. Yep. Pick up your deck, move it away. Okay. Ah, uh, no, get out of the way, hand. Sorry. <laughs> it's just like real life. My hand is getting in the way all the time. There we go. It's at the bottom. And then you pick up your deck and put it on. So another quick cool. tabletop simulator trick, or not trick, but a tip, is if you've got a deck of cards, if you just want to take the top one, you have to click and drag quickly. But if you want yep. to pick up the whole deck, you just hold down the left mouse button until it picks up the deck. So you just cool. have to pause when you've held the mouse button. Right, back to you, Russ. Okay. Um, all right, so I've got... Uh... You've not used your archaeologist yet. Yeah, I've got a boot in my in my um, in my de a deck though, so I'm wondering if I should just try and get maybe this uh, this tablets because I'm yeah. gonna need some tablets later. You are. So I'll go here. Yeah, spend a boot to go there. I don't know what I'd need jewels for at this point, other than to move up on here actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean nobody's done this yet. How do you do this? You, just... uh, you spend the resources that are shown. So one jewel will allow you to move to this space, or a compass and an arrowhead will allow you to move to this space. Ooh, and and that that's literally your, your whole turn. It's yeah, that is that is an action. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to think maybe if I do because I can, 
I could potentially d get the duo by getting rid of a card. Can I, actually, let me just do that then. Maybe if I move... Oh, but then I have to spend a boot as well, so that would pretty much be the end of my turn. Hmm. There you go, Matt. I've got a pile of gold I, I've here. Got, I've got two tablets. I'm oh. going so to do, do the, the dual one. thing then. I'm going to do the dual thing. So I go here. I have yeah. to play a boot to go there. To do that. And then yeah. that is play a card for no effect. Play a card for no effect. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I can spend this gold. And then I get a jewel. And you get a yeah. jewel. Yeah. Sweet. All right, cool. Okay, right. Tom. I'm going to buy a trowel. <laughs> Everybody go. needs a trowel. You just right. see me flying overhead in my airplane while you're <laughs> gripping that. Back to you, Tom. You mean Matt? Sorry, Matt, yeah. yes. That was yes. Tom. Yes, cool. Um, okay, well, I've got lots of fear. You do. Um, so I'm going to go run to the place where you get compasses and get even more compasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so two fear cards. Two fear. Oh, this is my last worker, isn't it? Um, gold is not like in other things where it's with other stuff, is it? Um, uh, so no. Nope. So gold is just a specific kind of resource. It's not wild. Correct. Yep. Okay, cool. Right, uh, the designers just sent me a message to say only items go to the bottom of your deck. Um, the rest of the cards actually should have gone to the to the, uh, to the the play area. So sorry, Matt, but you shouldn't have a fear card in hand. One of those fear cards that was ah. in hand shouldn't have been in your hand. So apologies for that. Okay, so I uh, I can't do that action then. You can. I only remember, had the one, I yeah, had the one boot. But remember, you can use a Jeep as if it was a boot. I could, um, but I think about it, since this is my last worker anyway, I can't go explore further north or True. out or inland, wherever. So I might just shift and grab the two books. Two tablets? Uh, yeah, tablets. there you go. I'm giving you those. Cool. Right. Uh, Russ? Um, I So I've got no cards and I've got tablets. I can't use this worker anyway, can I? Nope. Okay. I'm going to spend the jewel. Yeah, um, do some research. Do... Yeah, and um, I have to move my magnifying glass. It has to... Yep, except that's Tom's. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I picked red. What color am I? Yellow. All right, yellow. yellow. I'll remember that for next time. Okay. Uh, then I'll go that here and I'll there. gain gold. Yeah, right? you gain an immediate benefit of one gold. Sweet. Okay, there we go. Okay, right. Tom. I'm going to pay a compass and an arrow mm -hmm. and go up into the front. Okay, and you get a gold as well. And Matt? Um, I think I'm going to buy a card, and I'm just trying to decide what one. I think maybe a parrot um, that he can fly along beside my airplane. Yep. Uh, so he cost me two. Two gold to buy the parrot. Yep. Flip that. Uh, do some. Oh, no. Too quick. Yeah, click and hold. Yeah, let me get rid of my resources. There we go, right, paid. Okay, click, hold. Click, hold. Uh, if Russ wants to start doing his turn yep. while I interminably yeah. drag the cards around. I mean, I don't know if this is a, if this is a good thing, but I, I was thinking about spending my gold for this to get... Uh, I won't get the gold immediately, would I, because it's an item no. card. No, item would go on the bottom of your deck. Yeah, let's do that. I'll just spend my gold, why not? Okay. And that's the last thing I think I can do. Probably is. Tom? Can I do anything else now? Uh, other than just play all of your cards to get the stuff that's on them and then pass. Do that in one one big go? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, could, you are, you are allowed to keep... And then I could buy stuff if I wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can keep cards in your hand at the end of the round. 99% of the time you don't want to do that because you draw up to five cards at the start of the next round. So yeah, there's no draw, there's no benefit to keeping them. Yeah, you might as well play okay, them. Well, I'll, I will play these cards then and get uh, two gold and a compass. Two gold and a compass. And are you doing anything with that two gold and a compass? 
Uh, ooh. Yeah, I could afford a. I could afford an item there. You could. Uh, what costs? Let's see. Sea turtle sounds amazing. I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> Damn, it does sound amazing. Yeah. What does it do? What does that actually? What does it Plus actually square, do? Square man with a discount of. Draw a card, is it? It's draw a card, and then place an archaeologist on a space, but with a discount of a boat. Mm -hmm. Right, Matt. Yeah. Uh, what does the fishing rod do? Uh, buy a shovel. Uh, oh, buy, buy, an item. buy an item. Yes. Ah, right. With a discount of three. And Oof. you are allowed to buy the top um, item of the deck. So what happens is when you activate the fishing rod, we reveal the top card of the deck, and that's included in the the offer that you can buy from. Oh, sounds let's get fishing, lads. Um, I'm basically turning into that character from the start of Raiders of the Lost Ark with the boat, <laughs> the fishing rod. <laughs> That's just my snake, Reggie. Is there a snake card? Uh, probably. Right, two gold. Uh, two gold for, for a fishing, fishing rod. rod. Yeah. Okay, Rils, I think you said you were done? I think that's all I can do, yes. Yeah, so I'm yeah. passing. Okay, Tom? Yeah, I can't do anything else. Okay, and then Matt? Uh, I play an exploration card to get a compass, and that will be me. Right, there is, there is your compass. Okay, right. So here is the sequence of events that happens at the end of the round. The first thing you must do is you must return your archaeologists back to your supply. And that has to be the first thing that you do, because at this point, if your archaeologist was on a tile that had an, a guardian there, you would gain one fear card. Mm -hmm. Right? Um... The next step is actually missing from the setup card. That's not true. It isn't draw up to five cards. It is now take all of the cards that you've played. Now, there is, there is an easy way to do this. What you do is you just drag the mouse around them all, mm -hmm. press the G key on your keyboard, and that groups them all together. Yeah. Then flip them over with the F key. Oh, yeah. Fine. Then press the R to shuffle them, and then put them on the bottom of your deck. Got it. So, yeah, G, F, R, bottom of your deck, and then draw five new cards. Ah, cool. That's a nice hand. It's all my new cards. <laughs> uh, this, okay. Oh, not quite, Matt. You've just taken the top card there. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> uh, how do I undo this? It doesn't matter. No, you, because... did, you did just drag the top one back. There you go. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Glad being the host of the game, I do have an undo feature, but it's, oh. it's, uh, yeah, it's not something that you use lightly because it actually rewinds time, and it can be. A oh my bit, god! It can be a little bit temperamental. <laughs> Who knew say. tabletop simulator was so powerful? It, it can do that. <laughs> yeah, it can do that. Right. So yes, um, yeah. Step two is missing from the current player reference sheets. Um, so draw up to five cards, refresh your assistance. If anybody had an assistant, you would use it by ta uh, turning it sideways and then it would refresh at the end of the round. Uh, progress with the Moonstaff. So before we progress with the Moonstaff, the cards on either side disappear, then it moves along, then everything shuffles down, and then we get some new ones. So that there is a little bit of a refresh on there. Um, move the starting player marker. There we go. Tom, off you go. Any questions about the rules so far? Or are you happy just to carry on playing? Um, I, uh, no, I think I'm good. Yeah, because we haven't explained these yet, because nobody went there, but I'm assuming somebody will at some point. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we're, no one <laughs> wants to anymore. We're all too scared. <laughs> too scared. <laughs> Everybody's just going to stay at base camp for the whole game. How do you zoom in on a card in your hand? So you oh. hold down the Alt key. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Uh, and okay. that will make the card big. Uh, there's other tools as well. The M, the M key on Tabletop Simulator for the magnifying glass, I always find really useful as well. So, especially with my failing eyesight. When you play one of these item cards, do you get the symbols in the top and the ability, nope. or is it no, it is just, all? Yeah, it's the same as any other card. You play it for either the travel icons or for the ability printed on the card. Cool. Okay. Um. I'll, I'll play the sea turtle then for its ability. So that's draw a card, and then 
and place a dude on a ship for free. Mm -hmm. So draw a card and then yeah, get a I discount like. discount of a ship. But presumably, oh, but you can use it as a boot. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's going up there. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so instead of walking to base camp, Tom's taking his <laughs> sea turtle. It's just, it's just showing off. <laughs> That's it. Oh wow! So that was a two boat part. Mhm. Mm mm. Okay. Okay, Matt. All right. Well, I see your sea turtle, and I raise you <laughs> one parrot. <laughs> Caw! They all say. Caw! <laughs> now what right, are you doing? Me. I, I am going to. Oh, I am going to. Um, Discard? Yep. Is that that's discard? A fear yep. card? Yeah. Or play a card for no in, effect. Yeah, and turn it into a gem. Yep. You get one of these nice nice red jewels. Ooh. Um question. Yep. When you when you do the advance action, mm -hmm. can you switch columns? Uh no, you've got to follow the path. So, oh okay. Okay, so yeah, now now that you're on the right side, you can't switch to over here. to that side. Yeah. You just gotta follow okay. these these routes. Okay, cool. All right, and uh, all right, uh, it is my turn, I believe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to get my hands on a arrowhead. So I think I'll play this. I'm I'm just gonna do something, and I hope this yeah. isn't gonna affect anything, okay? Because I'm getting pings coming through from other people messaging me, so I'm gonna close Messenger down. And I hope okay. that the chat stays. If it doesn't, I'll call you back. All right. Okay. Scary right. times. I have closed oh, down God, Messenger. Got, We're good. Oh, God, We're I still here. My fear. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, actually, wait. So let me just ask about this. These um, these spaces. These yeah, there's really awesome spaces. Don't worry about the guardians. No, I'm not worried about the guardians. <laughs> I'm worried about like you can go to anyone as long as you've got the, the correct the, the thing. Okay. And, and three uh, compasses. Yes, that's fine. And um, these are like rewards, and I guess I'm yeah. just thinking maybe I'll go. But what's the um, what's the reward here? Uh, that reward there, I believe, is uh, you get to refresh one of your assistants. So if you have an assistant, you could use it by turning it sideways. Uh, that statuette, if you take it, will allow you to refresh your assistant so that you can then use it again. But only when you take it. Only at the immediate point when you take the... Yeah. Oh, so I don't want to take that one if I was going to go no. anyway. And, and this one over here? This, this icon, one. this is a new one. This allows you to upgrade either one of your tablets into an arrowhead or one of your uh -huh. arrowheads into a jewel. Ooh, okay. Um, let's... Uh... And all of these are worth three points at the end of the game as well, just for having them. And that one is just a straight-up tablet. That's just a straight tablet, yeah. You know what? Let's go exploring. Oh, here we go. Let's go exploring and not and and probably die. Right, so I'm going to play the hot air balloon. I'll yeah. raise you your sea, sea turtle and parrot, <laughs> and I'll raise your hot air balloon. Um, exile this card, yep. so I don't get to use it anymore. But it nope. served its purpose essentially because I don't have to spend these um, discounts. Uh, the the compasses. So yep. I'm going to place place my assistant to so this is the gone. space where you get to upgrade something. Right. Uh, so I'll go here. Yeah. So here's what okay. happens, is you get that immediately, yep. and you just yeah. take that and put it in your player board, okay. and you use it straight away. Okay, oh, uh, do it, does it matter which one no, I put it on? No, you don't put it up there, you just put it down here for now. Okay, fine, all right. Okay. All right, and, then and I'm going to upgrade uh, a surprise, surprise, a tablet to a arrowhead. <laughs> yep. So there we go. And then what all you right. do is you, you flip the idol over. Oh, yeah. except this is a custom object. So the way you flip things in here is you press the number one. There you go. That's been flipped over. All right, cool. Okay. Now, at the end of your turn, remind me there's a rule I want to tell you about that idol. But the next at thing the end happens, of my turn. At the end okay. of your turn. Well, yeah. no, in fact, I'll, t I'll tell you now. You're right. So on your player board, you have four slots. Yeah. One, two, two, and three. If those yeah. slots are empty at the end of the game, you will get mm -hmm. the victory points that's shown on them. Okay. Okay. However, now that you have one of these statuette things, mm -hmm. you may, as a free action, cover up the points to immediately get one of the things printed on the left-hand side. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. So, so you're, you're losing a point, but 
you get one of these bonuses. You still get uh, the that three might help me out of a pickle. Might help you out, yeah. All right, cool. So uh, I don't have to do that now, but I can yep. do it on do my turn as a free action. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so we have our first exploration. What I need you to do is take this tile. Yeah. Okay, and you put it, put it on the space there. Nothing to worry there. about. No, nothing to worry about at all. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to change it, and it is. There we go. Right, that's the site. So immediately you get the benefit printed on it, which is draw a card, get a gold, and get a tablet. Wow. Told right. you it was all good. Better than I was led to believe. <laughs> so I draw a card into my yep. hand. Then okay, you get cool. a gold. Then you get a tablet. Right. right. And then I get a gold and a tablet. Right. Yeah. And cool. everybody who goes to that place for the rest of the game will get those benefits. Okay. Uh, the reward that you got for going there first was the, token. the statue yeah, the token thing. Right. Uh, However. Let's have a look at who's there. Oh, Ooh. no. <laughs> oh. Oh, right. it's like some kind of spidery thing. Yeah, so that is, that is a guardian. OK, now, you don't have to defeat it right now. But if, you're, mm -hmm. if, if that guardian is still there at the end of the round, you will gain one fear card mm. because you've had to run away from it. OK, mm -hmm. to defeat the guardian, it's got there printed on it. It is discard a card, spend a gold, spend an arrowhead, and that overcomes the Guardian. Okay. That will get you, you will then take this tile. Yeah. It's worth five points at the end of the game. And yeah. as a one-off ability, at some point in the game, you can flip the tile over to get that bonus. Without still, losing the rewards. You still get the five, five points. points. So okay. it's basically, it's cool. five points for overcoming it, and it has yeah. a once per game ability. All right, cool. So there you All go. Right. Spider Boy. Prepare to die. No, I've not now. Uh, <laughs> and that's, that's the end of that my is it. turn. That is your yeah, turn. Okay. Yeah. All right, sweet. So, Tom. Okay, so I'll, I'll use this to turn a compass into a jewel. Mm-hmm. That's all it does. Yeah, and you're done. Mm -hmm. Matt. Right. <laughs> um, well, uh, 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 I think I am also uh, taking a walk on the wild side uh, with my with my airplane. Yeah. Um, so I can place an explorer with a discount of plane and because I'm going to discover a new site, gain a discount of two compasses. I have one compass as well, which gets me up to three. So um, now I wasn't listening. What was what's the reward that was to the left of where Ross uh, went? Russ. Russ, sorry. Russ. <laughs> um, it is to refresh one of sorry. your uh, assistants, which you don't have any yet, so mm -hmm. it's no good, and you don't get to use it later. So that, I, I am just tip. double checking that yeah. rule. I probably won't get an answer before you take it. Cool. Well, that's fine. I. I Let's assume I won't do that. We've got uh, a couple of uh, upgrade item uh, items, which sound also quite good. And what's the... Is that trash card? Exile a card, yes. Exile now, a you card. You can exile a card from either your hand or yeah. your played area. So it's more efficient to, to play the card. Ooh, I can get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> okay. and I, I, that I, I have had an answer, and these abilities are immediate. Yeah, okay, cool. So I think I'll go for the uh, uh, the upgrade uh, thing and just mm -hmm. just copy Russ because yeah. he seems what he's doing. Uh, so <laughs> let's, <Cool with you. laughs> let's go uh, away from the giant spider thing to the top yeah. left corner. Um, so I get that. You get that. I can f I flip it straight away and get yeah. myself an arrowhead. Okay, flipping custom objects is a bit weird. It's the no. numbers. So one and two is the different sides of it. Of course. Why Why be the same? Yeah. Um, and then let's see what you've got. Let's see what you've found. I'm sure it's nothing too, too scary. Fine. There you go. So you get a compass and an arrowhead. Oh. <laughs> All the arrowheads today, good news. Uh -huh. And <laughs> let's see who's protecting this location. I didn't even get a chance to admire the artwork on that. 
There we go. Octopus. Oh, it's a lizard thing. Yeah. Can I just look at the artwork on the title? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to mention this oh, at this point nice. because, as most of us here are, we are we are Euro gamers. We play games because the games are good and there's mechanics in the games. <laughs> And the fact that there's a theme attached to the game, to some of us, doesn't really matter. However, I can tell you now that there's a lot of thought gone into the theme behind this no. game. And Min, Min and Elwyn, the designers, are actually writing up a whole series of notes that explains oh, nice. each one of these locations, what it is. Um, they've really put a lot of effort into working with the artist because they want this location to be a specific thing. It's tied in. To these rewards because of some kind of story so it, this is a lot more than just oh stick a random piece of artwork on a card and give it random resources there's actually a lot more behind this that mm -hmm. will be revealed at some point in future so yeah that's quite cool mm -hmm. um but yeah it does all tie together right so there you go if you had a jeep and an arrowhead you could overcome this guardian well <laughs> you just drive towards him and throw a spear at him. Is that... Have, 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 you, have you finished, by the way? Is it my turn? Or... Uh, I think it well, has. I need yes. to dis if only I had... Wait, is that, that, that fish guardian has a little boat in the top right corner. What does that mean? That means once you've ability. overcome it, that is your once per game ability to use. Because you're not actually defeating them, you're overcoming them, and then yeah. there will be a reward from them. Ah... So, right. Anyway, I think you're done. So oh, yeah. It is Russ. Uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do some more research. Yeah, so good I'm idea. Spend this and this, mm -hmm. and then uh, that's actually annoying because it's not gonna print. But yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, you can see where I'm gonna move. Yep. I'm gonna move up here. I'm yellow, so I get this, and I get a compass. And you get a compass, a and card. you get to draw a card, and then that right. tile is yeah. gone. We don't need that right. one anymore. I'll draw a card then. Mm -hmm. All right. And you're done. Back to Tom. I'm done, yep. Yeah. I'm going to move over here for a gem. And I might as well get rid of this fear. I can't use it for anything. So is that, that's Exile a card, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. And you also get a compass as well for this. Now, did you exile that card from your hand? Yeah, because my yeah, card, you, you, card pile is. Oh, good from card. your play day. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Matt. Um, uh, but, 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 shoot, I had a question and I've forgotten it. Okay, never mind. Is it? Um, can you exchange a boat for a jeep? Oh, when do you get the fear? Yeah. Uh, when do you get the fear uh, from this guardian? Sorry. It is, is at the, the end, of the, end round? of the round. Just if I've as not... it, yeah, if you haven't overcome it, when you right. return your worker to your area, you will take yeah. a fear card. So yeah, yeah. How does one turn a boat into a... Uh, you don't, you can't. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. How does a man get a plane? <laughs> well, you've already got one. How do I pick that back up? Uh, you wait. You'll get it back on round four, I think. How, how useful. The, um, mm, what about surf these, these idols? They have planes in the top corner. Can I get that plane ability or is that that would only be if I was playing it from my hand I guess what's that sorry the um, serpent idol the artifacts uh, yeah that's if you play it for that from your hand travel icon yeah yeah okay cool right I'm coming to the conclusion then that uh, mr. lizard is just gonna scare me away okay uh, meanwhile then uh, let us I'm just asking that question of the designer. Let's see if I get a response. Can you buy an artifact and use it for the travel icon immediately, or do you have to use it for its ability? Mm. He, said no. he said no. So yeah, just the effect. Okay. So yeah, you're right. The travel icon is only when you play the card from your hand. Okay. Cool. cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do. I am going to spend. Uh, this fishing rod? No, not that. Not wrong, that. wrong card. <laughs> I could have sworn I grabbed my uh, exploration. There we go. I've got an exploration card okay. that I'm going to use uh, as a boot. Yep. Uh, to move and get two coins. Okay. From if my 
mouse would like to click the right things. OK, Russ? There we go. Yes. Uh, we go. Yeah, OK, so I'm, I'm going to, um, uh, uh, I had a plan. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to do this, mm -hmm. um, which allows me to just get rid of a compass. Spend a compass, get a tablet, and yep. an arrowhead. Yeah. OK. And Tom. that's my turn. But... Uh, I'm going to end these cards to get the coin and the compass. Yeah. Now it's your free action. And... Then I can. Okay. I think. That journal is really good for later on. Yeah, I don't want to exile it. Yeah, I'm going no. to use it for its uh, for its boatiness. Yeah. <laughs> and boating let's... boatiness. Let's upgrade. Yeah, let's just grab a tablet. So that's going to cost you three compasses to go there. <laughs> yeah. Which you've got. Okay, you see, so you take the uh, take the statuette, you get an immediate tablet, and we flip that over, and then let's see what you've got. It is this location here? Ooh, okay. that's a bit eerie, isn't it? Yeah. So you get a fear card. Oh no! <laughs> you get a compass <laughs> and you get a jewel. Yeah, the jewel's pretty sweet though. Jewel is pretty sweet. Nice. It's a scary okay. jewel, though. You have to ply it from the eye socket of the, the skeleton. <laughs> oh. There we go. Right. Oh, no. It was the giant it's a big scorpion's giant scorpion. eye all along. It was. Do you have to uh, be in a location to kill some? You do, yes. You have to be at the location to overcome oh. the guardian. Right, Matt, back to you. Cool. Um, I'm I'm gonna take a little fishing break, mm -hmm. uh, if that's okay with everyone. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. So buy an item <sighs> with a discount of three gold, and what we do is we reveal the top card of the deck. So you could buy that one if you wanted to. So go fishing and find a carrier pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit wet. No, what you do is you 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 know when you're fishing, you you throw mm. your hands back, ready to cast it, and go. Oh, I've got I've got something. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> this is carrier pigeon just carrier goes pigeon. flying past you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, binoculars activate a one sight. So that's all of the uh, ones ab ab all of these above the base here. camp. Yeah. Right. So I can just activate one of those. Yep. Without moving a yep, worker you get, to it. Yeah, you just get the, the benefit of it. Can I also fight the Guardian? No, no, that you're, doesn't you're, make sense. Your yeah, okay. is not there. It was, it was a silly question, okay? <laughs> no, but it is interesting because, you know, we touched on theme earlier on and a lot of the rules of this game do work thematically. And when you think, oh, well, it, no, it won't because it's binoculars, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where is the tent? Where is the tent? It's going to be there. Uh, yeah, yes, so I have to already be there, and then I can get that reward again. Yes. Right. And f fighting a guardian, you just have to, you just have to have a guy there, and that's an action, isn't it? Uh, it's an action. You have to have a, an archaeologist there, and you just pay the cost as printed on the. Okay. Uh, cool. Cool. On the guardian tile. All right. Uh, and then uh, precision compass, which is the ever expensive thing. Uh, buy a blue. Thing? That's an artifact. artifact. Oh yes. Uh, with a discount of three, include the top card of the artifact. Oh, wow, the counterpoint to my... It's, uh, it's a fishing, fishing rod for artifacts, yeah. It is. That's, that's what I like to call my compass. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, there's a lot of fun options available here. Um, ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I will take... Ah, uh, binoculars. See, ah, oh, ten more points. I'll take ten. <laughs> there you go. So, so we, we shuffle coin. these down, and we've already got the top card, which goes there. Okay, right, Russ. All right, I'm going to um, use a, a fear card mm -hmm. to As a boot. 
Uh, yes, and then I'm going to take the the arrowhead. Yep. That's my turn. Okay, Tom. So did you say I can I can put this up here? Yep, to get, get any one of these benefits printed here. Okay. Well, I'll. Okay, I'll gain an arrowhead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend it straight away. Right. One with two tablets. And uh, go up there. So that gets me a compass. A compass. What, now, what, you'll notice what? on the right-hand side of this, there is points. Yeah. Basically, if your marker is still there at the end of the game, it's worth four points. The, the further you are up this track, the more points you'll get at the end of the game. Okay. Oh, and the bottom one is what you get when your book comes in. The bottom one is for the book, yeah. Right. Matt. Um, cool. Uh, I am finally going to do some research. Uh, so let's go to here. Mm -hmm. Spend my gem. Cost you a jewel, yeah. Jewel. And that's you done. And I get a coin. Yay. And you get a coin, yes. Right to you, Russ. All right, I'm going to uh, use this card, um, but instead of taking the resource, I'm going to spend an arrowhead. Um, and I'm going to move my little notebook. Yep. Here we go. Here right. To get an assistant. You're taking assistant. Now I don't know what the hell they do, but I'm sure it's good. <laughs> okay. So this one here is exile a card when you use it. Yeah. Uh, this one here is. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I guess it's spend a boot, spend to, get a boot to get an arrowhead. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. Um, this one here is either get a compass or a ship. Now, in the banner at the bottom, that's yeah. what's on the other side. Because if you oh, look at. You flip them. Yeah, when you get to level three or level four in the research, it flips one of your existing assistants and refreshes oh. it. OK. Now, did these get re refilled? Yep. There oh, will okay. all be, always be three available. That's oh, what this okay. bike here is for. No, all right. So um, and you have to exile something from your, your hand. From your play or area play. or your hand. Oh, interesting. Um, I think that it's generally nice to exile stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but then I could just get loads of. I, I'm going to take the, the pug dog, the super yep. pug dog. Okay. So I'll take that. There we go. Uh, it always was. That sits on one of these slots, I guess. Yes. Yeah, cool. All right, sweet. And I do that now? Uh, you can do that... If you want to, it's a free action. Oh, I can do it any time I want? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I may as well do it now. Let's get rid of this fear card. So um, I've exiled that. And that is, um, it, do I do I flip it? You tap it. There you go. Yep. Okay. And that comes back next turn. It will come. It'll refresh at the end of the round, or when you get an ability that refreshes it. Yes. All right. I'm done. Yep. Okay. Back to Tom. I will. Uh... Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move my book. Oh for. <laughs> I'm going to have to. God he, damn it. He's, he's, he's taking the one you wanted. <laughs> yes. oh, we should have had a, we should have had replacements. Oh. Uh, oh, no, I don't want a gold. Oh, my God. What? Amelia Earhart to my freaking rescue. <laughs> um, I am going to move my book. Up. And get, uh, yes. Everybody's doing it now. Everybody's getting one. Um, yeah, have you rotate? Q and E. Oh, it's all right. It's go. done it by itself. We're good. Um, sorry, and that was a compass and a arrowhead. Yep. And yes, don't mind he's saying don't use the word tap. Yeah, I said tap. I'm not allowed to say the word tap. <laughs> Why? Well, no, I think you are now, but there was a oh, time it's about the Magic the Gathering. Yeah, ten or fifteen yeah. years ago that the word was very there was a lawsuit about it, but I think I think that's all been sorted. I think you're allowed to use it now. Ah. You're not allowed well, to use the icon, but I think the word Rotate. 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 Exhaust. Degrees. Yeah. <laughs> exhaust. 
Um, is it my turn, by the way? I think it is. Yes. Okay. Um, I will uh, play the sundial, and that will just give me an extra tablet, right? Because I'm spending a tablet to gain two tablets. That's right. Uh, yeah, you play it's a tablet to play the card and get two tablets. Yeah. But yeah, so I just gained one overall because I'm yeah. not spending one. Okay, cool. Yeah, done. Okay, back to Tom. I'll I'll buy an artifact. Okay. I get a fear card down here. Get a fear card down there and a jewel. jewel. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I get a new one. I'm done. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! I am going to use my assistant with a plane symbol. Mm-hmm. Uh, to uh, show this giant, terrifying lizard creature. Uh, oh, I see. You're going to defeat it. And and gently warn it off with a few um, bricks <laughs> with my arrowhead. Yeah. There you go. So that. this is yours. Oh, God. How do you... <laughs> Amazing. And so that means I can use... Wait. So it's got a boat. How do I yep. use a guardian? I mean... You just say, I'm going to use it. And then we flip it over. OK, and then it's just worth five points. It's, it, it's worth five points now. If you flip it over, it's still worth five points. Yeah. So. But I can't then use the... So it's a one use ability. It is, yes. Yeah. Um, what's the bow and arrows card? It says gain one compass for each guardian you are confronting and each yours tick. Is that a defeated one? I, I'm assuming that is, yeah, each one that you've defeated. All right, cool. Uh, bows right. and arrows. Gain one compass for <sighs> each one you are confronting, and each yours tick up to three. Yeah, okay, obviously so not final text on these cards. Yeah. Uh, still being worked on. I think that means for each each guardian that you have previously overcome. So up to so a total of combined this would be up to three of those. So yeah. it'd be a maximum three compasses. Okay. Well, well no, uh, I mean the way I read that, and we'll we'll wait for the designer to answer it, is it's gain a compass for each guardian that you are confronting. Yeah. Oh no, 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 yeah, you're right. And yeah, okay, yeah. Maximum of three in total for both things combined. Yeah, because that'd be pretty powerful. It would, yeah. I mean to be fair, actually it wouldn't only be it'd only be up to five anyway, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, is it my turn? Like, what What is Matt doing with his, your assistant? I am trying desperately to get it to rotate and stay rotated. Thank there. you. Uh, okay. So <laughs> another quick it just table. auto. Um, yeah. Another auto locking to the uh, other orientation. Another <laughs> tabletop simulator tip in the in on the menu bar at the top, on the very right, you've got rotation degrees. Oh um, yeah. And in this game, you can change that to ninety. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play my uh, wristwatch to get two gold. Yep. Okay. Done. Tom. Uh, I'm gonna pass. I think. Okay. Tom's passed. Yeah, I'm passing. I have That's no passing. more things. To All right. Do. I'm going to spend two gold. Uh, uh, wait. Is it two gold? Is that the bow and arrows? Uh, um, it's two gold. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, because I. Yeah, I think I've got enough for the other things, so I'll, I'll take that. And okay. that goes on... Oh, I need to spend another gold, sorry. That's you do? Uh, so that goes on the bot. Oh, yeah, you, are you, are you going to do no, that? That's all okay, right, cool, you do it. Um, so, and because and I'm assuming the others are passed, I can still carry on, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so I'm going to spend uh, two tablets. Hang on. And, um, and my arrowhead. Yeah. To go up the next level it's on the even further. thing, yeah, here, okay, and Get then you. I'm going to take a, a compass. Get you a compass. Yeah, and then my next turn, I'm going to play this card for no effect. Um, I am then going to spend a. Oh no, did I? I didn't do this right. I thought I'd have an arrowhead. Oh no, I can still get one. I'm you going can. to spend this to, to just get an to, to get the arrowhead. Oh. Um. So the arrowhead and the gold as well. And a gold. And a gold. And I'll You're take that. Overcome Spidey. Stephanie. Shalom. What? Stephanie. Shut Stephanie. Up. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I'm wondering if it's worth just using it now. Because earlier you get rid of bad card for less. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll flip it. Yep. 
Uh, oh, actually, it's weird. It doesn't. It's yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, of course, because it's a custom object. It's a stain. Yeah. Just... I'm just going to burn um, one of these compass cards. Okay. Yeah, you just stick it over on the blue player board. Yeah. Right. And, and then think... are you done? Let me just try. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm done. I, I think, think you did. Done. Right, okay, so work. Uh, arch archaeologists come home, and Matt, you're okay. Russ, you're okay, but Tom, you get a fear card. Ooh, that stings. <sighs> no, he doesn't sting because you run away from him. It's a scorpion. <laughs> it's a funny right. pun. It's a funny pun. <laughs> okay, and then take all of your cards that are in your played area, group them, flip them, shuffle them, put them on the bottom of your deck. Uh, let's them here. Them. Yeah, I didn't find that group function until about a month ago, and now it's like, oh, this is so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> and then draw five, right? And then draw, f yeah, draw up to five. So since you have no cards in hand, yeah. Do you want me to do it, Matt? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Mum. Flip, <laughs> shuffle, rotate, and um, put it on there. Uh, yeah, refresh your. Um, Assistance. Oh, they um, refresh every turn. They refresh at the end of every round, yeah. Oh my good oh yeah, round, sure. Every round. There we go. That's Let's amazing. Oops. There we go. That goes there. That goes there. Oh. We are now on You round... and me, Amelia. Oh no, I did that wrong, didn't I? Yes, I think I did that wrong. Let me just have a look at that. Yes, I burnt that. Yeah, so I did that wrong. That shouldn't be there. That should 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 be there. Right. Okay. We're good. Uh, start player passes. No. Oh. And we are now on round three. Matt, you're cool. first. Cool. Yeah. Uh... What oh, Tom, your archaeologist should have come home. There you go. This might be a bit of a quieter round for me. I assume that's typically the case, because it's basically mm -hmm. just starting cards again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I all mean, right, a lot, cool. all of you bought quite a few equipment or items in the first round, which means the second round you're all going to get to do lots of cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, I am going to go grab an arrowhead. Mm -hmm. You have to spend a boot to do that. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, have, uh, some, have some fear. Yep, you get an arrowhead. Russ, you're up. Uh, I'm going to spend a boot to take uh, two gold. Um, actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to spend a boot to just take some gold, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tom? So to activate this assistant, yep. you need a boot. Is it, is it an action to play the card for the boot? Um, I don't think it is, no. I think you just play a boot, Yeah. get an arrowhead. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do that. Elwyn will tell a visit if, if, if it's wrong, but I think it's right. Um, oh, actually, I am gonna I'm gonna grab some tablets first. Mm -hmm. Get a couple of tablets. Back to you, Matt. Oh, Jesus. Um, sure. <laughs> I've almost got a plan. Uh, give Give me one second. Oh yeah, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna move my magnifying glass up a spot. Costing you a tablet and uh, an arrowhead. Tablet and arrowhead, and yep. get getting you a compass. Two compasses, right? Nope. Oh, no. no, it's one compass. Oh. One compass. So the graphic design here is being changed because you're not the first person to have made that mistake. <laughs> what was it? The fact I that read that as two. It's, yeah, some people are reading that as two compasses, but it's not. Oh. It's, one, it's one compass. Oh, it's, two, yeah. two points at the end of the game if your magnifying glass is on that. Yeah, level. no, I... I, I didn't see. I didn't make that mistake, but I can see. You how didn't, it. but some. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lesser game player. <laughs> <I might suggest. laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. I just because you because you because you um because you kind of established at the beginning like the purple things is always points, and I was mm -hmm. like, okay, fair enough. Um, is it my turn now? I think so. Okay. Uh, I will take. Um, I 
think I'll take the whip for two gold. Okay. Um, there we go. There you go. Okay, back to Tom. Okay, I'm gonna use my assistant to get an arrowhead. Yeah. I'm gonna spend it with a tablet and move my book up. Okay, so I get you another assistant. And I'll take Dr. Gold. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's a question in the chat, can you have more than two assistants? Nope, you can only have two assistants. Uh, you get the first one at level one, the second one here, then at level three one of them promotes, gets better, and at level four the other one promotes. So yeah, you can only actually have two assistants maximum in the game. Right, Matt. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's alright. Uh... Yeah, I think I have to do that. Okay, uh, I will spend uh, this funding. <laughs> it's just not Go dragging on. the cardio on. You can do it. There we go. You can do it. There we go. Oh my goodness. Um, to uh, get as a as a as a jeep. Yep. Uh, to oh now it's my last work. <laughs> oh, this is. This is not going good. Okay, well, I'll do it anyway. Uh, work it to get two uh, compasses. Right. Is that your turn? Uh, that was my it is. exhaustingly right. painful turn. Uh, I'm going to take that gold and I'm going yep. to buy the um, rough map. Okay. And that's going to be another... Another bottom of your deck. Tom? Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend a tablet and a jewel and go up. Ah, right. So you get a gold and a compass. Nice. There you go. Okay, back to Matt. Oh no, really already? Guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just <laughs> stop being so damn efficient. Okay, uh, I am going to buy the mortar item. Okay, yeah, nice. So you can exile a card and get two gold. Yep, I will exile this fear. Mm -hmm. uh, does that just, just go back onto the deck? Yeah, you can put it there. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Same. Cool. And get two gold. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, back to you, Russ. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, what can I do? I, I think I'll have to play the bow and arrows yeah. to get one compass. Yep. And that is myself that is done. Yep. Is everyone else slowing down or has everyone got like big turns? I think Tom's had a good turn actually. Everybody had a lot of their basic cards yeah, in hand. Yeah. This turn. Does it, it's always it's always three to go to these places, not just discover them. Like three exploration tokens. It's all yeah. It's always um, oh, that's a good question. I think it is. I'm not actually sure about that. I will I will ask Elwin in the chat. Is it always three compasses to go to these places or? I oh, was in as opposed it, to just moving. I don't to think a it is. Place. I don't I think, think it is. I think if you move somewhere, it makes sense. But I'm not obviously mm -hmm. the. So I, I have a draft copy of the rule book in front of me, but Elwin might be able to answer it in the chat before I uh, before I get to it. Um, so this is archaeologist discover a new site, dig at a site, pay the depicted cost, resolve the effect. Yeah, I think it's only discovering a new site that costs the compass tokens. Hmm. Okay. Because it represents that you're exploring, whereas that's already been explored. You already know where that is. You can now yeah, just go there with a jeep. For. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Then I will go for. I think I'm going to go and visit this. Mm -hmm. This no, lovely no, place. This one. I'm going to get a compass and an arrowhead. 
and I need a pet and a, a buggy, which gets me an elephant. Okay. Uh, yeah, three compasses to discovering a new site, but once it's explored, is it enough just to have the travel icons? Yeah, confirmed. Okay, back to you, Matt. Did I forget to grab my arrowhead from going there? I haven't spent it yet, have I? What did I... Oh, I did it to go up here, didn't you I? You did, yeah. Yeah, okay, no, that's yeah. fine. Uh, right, I am going to buy the carrier pigeon for two coins. Okay. And Russ. Okay, I am going to... Um, I think I'm going to actually let me just check because mm. I'm not sure now. I was tempted to explore somewhere. Yeah. All those sweet rewards. Yeah, I I think that I might take the um I might explore this area over here. Okay. With my second assistant. So you're um, going to need a boat icon and three compasses. Yeah. Okay. So uh, where do you this have? Go? Uh, yeah. So I have. Yeah. So I have. Um, I do have a boat icon in. Uh, oh yeah. No, I do have a boat icon. It's it's here. Yeah. And and then I do have a um, card here. One compass plus two others. So those two and those okay. go in. There. I will give you That's your. Sweet. So you can and upgrade. And then my uh, exciting reward. Yeah. Well, you want to upgrade your tablet to an arrowhead? Uh, yes, that is exactly what I will do. It's an immediate bonus. And then let's mm -hmm. see what we've got. It's my reward over here. Oop. OK, there we go. Oh, it's a tablet and an arrowhead. It's and and an it looks arrowhead. like some kind of snaky, dragony mm -hmm. column. That's so cool. All right, so yeah, I'll take those. Take and those. let's see what's protecting it. Oh, there we go. What? Oh, it's a giant bird. That's so cool. It's it like is. A stony looking bird. With a jewel around its neck. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have that jewel. And once you overcome it, it will take you somewhere. Anywhere I want. Anywhere. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's my turn done, I guess. Okay. Back to Tom. Okay. I'll use my assistant. And yeah. Two gold. Two gold. Or. I I think I'll buy a flask. Okay. Yeah, so that's... Right, back to Matt. Okay. Tom, um, Tom just quickly, are you, are you able to turn your volume up at all? You're a little quiet. I don't know. Are there any settings on Facebook? <laughs> I don't think so. That's it. With Discord, I can adjust it, but not with Messenger. Right. Anyway, Matt, you're going to use your statuette. I'm going to use my statue to uh, turn a coin into a jewel. Yeah. I'm going to spend that jewel straight away. Yeah. Uh, to move my book up. Okay. Which gets you another assistant. And I will take Mr. iPad over here. Um, and I may as well trigger him straight away to get the tablet. Yeah. Russ? Okay. Ah, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to spend my assistant to get rid of this fear card because I'm going to get another one. <laughs> uh, I'm, I mean, I'm probably going to get one from facing this yeah. third thing. Yeah. So uh, that's my turn. Oh, no, that's a free no, action. No, 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 that's not a turn. Yeah, it's a free action. Oh, OK. So my turn will actually be, um, I didn't know what. I wanted to do this, but I've just seen I could um, I could move this up one space by spending my arrowheads. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll do that. Okay. So, so you, get a, take, you get a um, compass and another, another compass. compass. So I'll basically trade these arrowheads for compasses. Yeah. <sighs> and further up on the research. Are you all right, Matt? I cannot get these damn okay, assistants so, to just turn around. Yeah, so all you need to do is move your mouse over <laughs> it and press the E key. That's it. Oh, because every time you pick it up, 
when it, it goes by down, back. it will snap back. Yeah. Uh, right. So just, <laughs> just hover and press. Just hover and press. Oh, yeah. I just don't know how to use PhD students anymore. <laughs> Uh, Tom, back to you, I think. Uh, I, I'll i play these and get two gold. Some gold. And then I'll spend it with two more. And two I'll more gold for a precision compass. compass. Okay, nice. Whoops. Okay, back to you again, Matt. Yeah, I forgot to spend all these compasses earlier when I bought the... Uh... Uh, mortar. Oh. Um, so I have significantly fewer resources than I thought. Um, so, do I need coins that much? Hmm. I think so. so. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I. Oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I just realised. Could this this um, space? Could I have used it to go up this space instead? Yes. Is that connect. Ah, oh, I would have done that. Damn it. Only because I. I think it's better to have an assistant earlier on. I just didn't. I thought it was left and right for some idiot reason. I don't mind. I'll just own the mistake. It's fine. Um, well, you're going to get the assistant anyway. Um, uh, no, because I, I, I moved this one because I thought I could. I thought I couldn't move this oh, one up okay. here because I didn't realise it was connected. But yeah. then I was like, actually, it is connected. All right, no it mind. is. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least I'll know for Sorry. next time. Oh, he's off again, turn, stealing some gold from the serpent. Yeah. Um, my, my old friend, the serpent, I, I'm giving him uh, the latest iPad uh, yeah. from my uh, tech guy. Um, so I thematically, you're doing research into the artifact in order to be able to use it again. Ah, I see. So I, I, found, I found the give me money button. It's good. Yeah. And a fear um, it makes a loud noise when I do it, unfortunately. So... I get scared okay. easily. You're done. Yeah. Um, I've just seen a way I can make it work. I can put this you here can. Yeah. to get the thing, and then I'll just spend the is it no a compass as well as the um, the thing that I just would have gained to get up on here. Whew, eventually uh, got there. So you use? Are you, you? Oh, oh, not not. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Sorry, the tablet. Right. The tablet, not the compass. Sorry, yeah, I was looking right. at the bottom row. So that's there we go. That's fine. Okay. And now I can do it. And I'll take uh, the uh, I'll take the gold into Arrowhead uh, person. Um, what did you just move? Uh, my book. Yeah, I think you moved Tom's. Did I? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, that's the second time. Second space. Oh no, no time was on the second space. No, I think I moved it. I think I didn't move it because I was confused. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, that there seems all right. All right. Um, yeah. And then yeah, that's cool. And can I? I can't use this anyway. Could I use it? I can't use it as a, a thing. I, it's uh, items don't have hierarchy, do they? No. Well, they do, but only when you're upgrading yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm, okay. I'm good. Tom. I think I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend these and this stone key, and that yeah. unlocks this. What does it do? I assume that's what it does. It unlocks. Oh this. yeah. So I can use okay. it again. Ooh. Nice. Well, that's cool. Mhm. Mm right. Back to Matt. Uh, yep, I am going to buy a card, um, but the card just goes to the bottom of my deck, doesn't it? Damn, yep. I can't use those abilities. That would have been nice to have. <laughs> um, so I think I'll take the torch for two coins. Okay, and your deck is so big you won't get that torch until... The no, whatever. Time. Yep. <laughs> when it's darkest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have it's to say it. I have no idea about who's winning at this no. point. No, who knows? Huh, classic winner stress yeah. comment. <laughs> oh, oh, I never, I never do very well in games. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the points, one million four thousand. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> Any more, Ross? Are you? I think you're done. I'm done. Yeah. You are done, Tom. I'm gonna put this back out. Doing it again. Yeah. yeah. Two tablets. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, not a compass as well. And I'm going to spend two tablets and an arrow. To move up to there so you can flip and refresh one of your assistants. And refresh. And refresh. Wow. Uh, yeah. ooh, does that change things? Oh, good. Oh, I think that does change. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. No, I want to I okay. flip this one. And I'll, I'll just do it. I'll just and then do just it. do it to get an arrow ahead. Yep. Yeah. Right, Matt? 
Oh my god, an ostrich has two jeep symbols. Of course it does. Why aren't we all riding ostriches? <laughs> um, I ask myself that uh, question right, most just, days. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to play uh, what's left of my cards. Yep. Uh, so I get a compass, compass a coin, and, and I've got a meat. Oh no, I picked up the first player marker. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. Um, and I'll also uh, tap Amelia uh, to get uh, another coin as well, so yep. that all my stuff has been used, and yeah, I'll pass next time. Okay. Russ. Tom, uh, Russ passing. has already passed. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm, I'm, can't do anything else. Tom's passing. End of the round. Okay, cool. so first of all, workers come back. Anybody get any fear cards? Yes, I'll yes. take one from the exile thing over yep. here. Okay, that goes into your play area. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, so I'll group these together. And, and then, then they all get the grouped together. I'll do Ooh, maths. Do you know what I didn't do before? I didn't shuffle them. That's stupid, Ooh. isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Paul. There you go. <laughs> at, least I, at least I... Yeah, okay, I've, I've definitely done it this time, though. That's right. probably why I ended up with some rubbish cards anyway, so it bit me in the... It did. Oh, anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, archaeologists come home. Everybody draws up to five cards. I will remove these. Then I'll move it along. Then I'll slide them down. There you go. And now we are on round four. Oh, cool. Assistance refresh. Move the starting player marker. And we're good to go. So two rounds left. Oh dear. Anybody going to brave it and go to the tier two places? I hmm. dream of having that many compasses. Are they better rewards as well as harder enemies? Yes. Maybe. Oh, well, the enemies are not two harder. Two of the three point tokens. Okay, the, the guardians are from the same stack of guardians, but the level two sites are more rewarding. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Maybe. Maybe. Um, whose turn is it? In mine. Oh, yeah. sweet. Mm. Um, oh, did I do everything? I don't think I flipped this. Uh, uh, unexhausted it. <laughs> um, and I've got two compasses. Okay. What's that do? Hmm. I think this is quite frustrating because I've got all good cards. I've got nothing to spend. <laughs> um, I've got nothing to Actually, I'll tell you what I will do. I will um, Just going to have a look at the this. cards everybody's got. I think I might use this one. Paul, well, Paul, tell me what cards everyone else has. Well, just look at YouTube. Exile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 and um, <laughs> that's just pay one. That's just pay one compass, isn't it, to get the rewards of a tile two stack? So you're exiling this card to take an artifact for free. And this artifact, mm -hmm. the guiding skull, is yeah. Pay a compass, reveal the top card of the two stack, activate it, and then put it on the bottom of the stack. Yeah. Yeah. And um, all there's this one, which is just to draw extra cards, which might be nice because I've got a very good. Oh yeah, but look, it's draw two cards from the bottom of your deck. Oh. Yeah. What? Well, that's not so good for me, though. Okay, I'll take this one. I'll take the Golden Skull. Got okay. Guiding Skull. And uh, I get to use that yeah. now? Yeah. So, okay. So let's do it. Let's do so it. pay a compass. Yeah. So we're going to reveal this. Hope there's something good. Okay. Yeah. Scary. Now, that's not finished yeah. artwork, as you can tell. So that is one fear card, two tablets, and two arrowheads. Yeah. So one fear card. Um, I don't know where... Where they are, oh, there's, there's one. Oh, there's one. Okay, so that goes into my play area, correct? Yep. It doesn't go into my hand, we just correct. decide yep. that. And then two, two, two arrowheads, and then two of these. Yep. Sweet. Okay. okay. Now, am I going to be able to put these on the bottom of the stack? I don't think I am. So I'm just going to put this one here. This is on the bottom of the stack. Uh, wait, what did I just... Oh, that one. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, because these are all... Yeah. It's not possible for me to put it on the bottom of the stack. Never mind. Okay. Right. You're done. I've got a new artifact out. Tom. Okay, uh, so I can use the sea turtle with a disc out of a ship. So you draw a card. And draw a card. Yeah. 
And you Ooh. can go there. Oh, that card does nothing, doesn't it? Uh, and yeah, I get a fear. You get a fear, uh, you get a compass, a compass, and you get a jewel. And a jewel. Yeah. Okay. Done. Okay, Matt. Yep. Um, let's go. I'm going to go use my uh, the, the uh, little oasis I found earlier. Maybe. Is that what I want? Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, that gets me a compass and an arrowhead. Yep. And you spend a jeep to get there? And I spend a jeep to get there. Yep, I will uh, use uh, Amelia to do that. Right, yep. Okay. Cool. Russ. Oh, hello, is that louder? Yes, that is louder. Yes. Ah, yeah. Somehow, somehow my go. microphone has turned around. I wasn't talking into its face. <laughs> ah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I need to get some gold. So I'll play the wristwatch. Yeah, for two. It gets me two gold. Oh, okay. and um, let's... Uh, and that's a free action, that. That's a free action. Oh, yep. sweet. So I can still do another main action. Oh, yep. I'll do these other... Is that a main action because it's not got an electric symbol on it? Uh... Or is that just a... Mystery? Well, yeah, it looks like it is. I think it probably should have the lightning bolt on, but remember, this is a prototype, so... I'm yeah. going to let you make the call on it. I, I think that should be a free action. All right, so let's, let's do that. So we'll say it is. Yeah, let's say it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so I put that there, and I'll and I'll get a arrowhead, and then I'll use this to get rid of the fear card. Yeah. Because it isn't a main action. Main action is archaeologist playing a card. Yeah. Buying a card, researching, overcoming a guardian, and passing. So. Okay. Yeah. And then. Hmm. I would really like a jewel. There's one here. Yeah. But there's also one. Oh, I can't go there because he's there, right? No, yeah, Tom's there. Oh. Braving the giant scorpion. You. Petting, you went, did petting you go, the giant scorpion. You specifically went back there to try and uh, deal with that. He likes it. Um, okay. <laughs> well, in that case, <laughs> that's. <laughs> I just don't he lives know. for fear. I don't think I'm going to be able to do what. Oh, actually, it could play this. It just is this. This isn't a free action, is, is it? Uh, it's got a lightning bolt on. But okay, so I guess I'll do that. Yeah. So you I'm have to pay a tablet to... to get two tablets. So I get another tablet. All right. And uh, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, weird stuff up there. Actually, then my plan was to. To move up on one of these, so maybe I'll take. Oh, I can't move up there yet. Um, but can I move up here maybe to get a refreshed assistant? And will that get me a jewel? <gasps> yes, it will. Okay. Oh my God, this is so. So I think I might spend this, the two tablets and the arrowhead. Yeah. Uh, let's just put them up here for now. And so then I'm going to, to level up... three. That's right. And then I'm going to flip this. Mm -hmm. That's my reward for that. And um, can I can I use it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's do let's do the gold into a jewel. Yeah. So I think yeah that should have a lightning bolt on as well. Yeah. I assume. Okay. I assume. All right. Cool. Sure. All done. All you nerds racing up the research track. Sure. <laughs> Matt cool. is flying around in his aeroplane. <laughs> I didn't get another reward from. No, that's the that's the other thing. Okay, cool. I'm done. I'm done. I actually did finish my then. Sorry, that was a long I'm, one. I'm gonna activate these. An arrowhead and two gold. I think that is two gold effect. And I am going to spend gold 
Yeah, gold tablet arrow to put my book in there. Mm -hmm. So you get a free tablet. Free tablet, and, and you get gets yeah, you get your other assistant. And I might as well levels up. Okay. Get three gold, and that, that's it for me. Okay, Matt. Cool. Uh, I am going to have a nice kip in my tent. <laughs> uh, and reactivate uh, this lovely location that I apparently might Can't move get enough to. Of. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so another compass and another, and another arrowhead. arrowhead. Yeah. Okay, Russ. Yes. Hmm. I am going to go and. Actually, what was the other thing I could do? Oh, yeah, I need to. This is so frustrating because I really need to. <laughs> I wanted to do a double explore, like the super explore one over here. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's two rewards. Yeah, you, you choose get, one. I think you get both. Oh. Yeah. The thing is, I feel like I'm one. I'm literally one. Um, well, I was thinking there was a way I could get uh, an, another. Um, what you call it? Because I could upgrade this and then use use something to get another explore icon. But then I'm like one uh, compass short of, of doing a double explore, which is super infuriating. <laughs> oh uh, no, that sounds awful. No, if only but I had a plane. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that's Sorry. a good point. No, that's actually a good point because I don't think I would have been able to do it with the right um, cards that I've got left anyway. So actually, you've just saved me that. So I think what I'll do. Is I will um, use this. Uh, I don't know if I should use this one now, um, or if I should just use this one. I don't know if I want to explore anywhere else, or maybe I could get um, something here. Maybe I'll take some gold. I'll take. I'll. I'll spend. And this is kind of crazy, but maybe I can use that next time instead. So I'm going to spend this as a foot. My yeah. rough map yeah. as a foot, and then I'm going to go and get some gold. Okay. Uh, and that's my turn done. Right. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go there. Mm -hmm. And so that's just play you a card. Oh, I need a foot, and then yeah. play a card. Play a card for no to effect get to get a jewel. jewel. Yeah. Nice. Okay, Matt. Uh, right. I'm playing this uh, exploration card to get another compass. Mm -hmm. Which is free, uh, and then I am playing my airplane. He's off again. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, right. <laughs> Paul, your hand is right over the card. It's just outrageous. <laughs> Let me hold it up to my face. Um, right. <laughs> discount of plane. If discovering a new site, also gain a discount of two compasses. So I am going to the farthest reaches of the island. He's off. I am off. Uh, to oh, one are we doing it? He's doing it. So I've got one plane, and I've got yeah. a boat from my uh, giant lizard friend. Right. Um, so we uh, thank you. So it's one of the two boat spots. Uh, yeah. So it's either a trash and a compass, or it's a tablet and a coin. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I think I'm... Oh, and I'm going to get two... Two icon yes. yep. things. Ooh, oh, that opens up options, doesn't it? Okay, in which case I'm going to go for the trash and a compass. Um, did, did, have I flipped everything that I need to flip? Yes. There you go. Got and it. I just need. To, thank you very much. And I just need to drag all these compasses out of the way. Okay, and we found. Ooh. Oh, more bonuses. More bonuses. Hallelujah. Right. Two more compasses and another jewel. The jewels are good. Protected by... Oh, dear. Ooh. <laughs> big, big nasty scarab beetle thing. <laughs> oh, well. But you can defeat it with two back. gold and an arrowhead. Sweet. Likes the taste of gold. <laughs> you have... Yeah, I have loads of resources. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, back to you, Russ. Okay, I had a plan, and it involves spending these two things. Mm -hmm. 
Gold and, and a jewel. To move up, yeah, to move up on here. Yeah. And that means that I get a compass. You get right? a compass. Sweet. I'm done. Okay, Tom. I'm moving up there for a gold and a jewel. Done. Okay. Oh, when I get a compass. <laughs> I'm yeah. still finishing my last turn. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> uh, right. Wait for it. Ah, Justin's <laughs> just popped in the chat. Hi, Justin. Thank you for joining in. Yeah, Paul Gen Come Buddy, the giant beetle. In the couple of test games that I played of this, I always found the giant beetle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gave him like name as well. Beetle. Yeah. Barry, I think it was. Right, am I in a rush for anything here? Uh, what we got? Two compasses. Nothing wildly exciting. Um, right. So. Um, that gives me a car. Interesting. Uh, right, I am going to... Gosh, what's that noise? Who is that? Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise you lived down by the docks, Tom. <laughs> All right, spending one of my icons to get uh, two tablets uh, and spending those in an arrowhead to yep. move up on the research track. Which gets you a compass. Which gets me a compass. Yeah. It's just yeah. Right. There's a lot of background noise now. It sounds like somebody's swimming or outside. I don't know if it's Tom. I'm neither of those things. Okay. <laughs> no, I think it's me. Uh, um, no, it's is now. that is that you done or is that your last turn? I think Matt's uh, done. sorry, that is me done, yeah. yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> the noise was me. I'm going to turn this compass mm -hmm. into these Easy things. pickaxe. OK. Yep. Back to Tom. Oh, crap. What's happened? Oh, me? Uh, oh. I am. What just happened? Oh, hang on. I think I'm. Let me just check. So advancing again. Compass and jewel. No, that's go in here, and I'll get rid of a fear card. Yeah. Exile a card, yeah, nice. Uh, oh, and I, get, I get to draw a card. You get to draw a card as well. Ooh. Nice. Right, Matt. Uh, I'm just going to spend my uh, two coins and an hour ahead to kill the. Uh, sorry, kill. Don't kill. Overcome. Uh, gen, gen. Yes. Uh, have an enlightened discussion with the scarab Barry, beetle. With Barry, the, the scarab beetle, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, done. Is um, it my turn? It is, but to you, Russ. Okay. Um, I think that I'm going to go up this track here. Mm -hmm. Let me just spend it. So it costs so you got... two tablets and an arrowhead, but you get a tablet back. Yeah, so I'll spend one. Yeah. One. And you also and, draw um, a card. Draw a card. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gonna Tom. That is. Ah. I'm okay. gonna. Oh, do I want to do that? That is actually good, actually. Mm. Uh, yeah, I will. I will fight this guardian. So that's going to be a card. It is a card. And a compass. A compass and an arrow. And an arrowhead. Gets you this. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Back to Matt. Cool. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, spend my assistant guy to get a tablet. Wrong mm -hmm. button. Um, and a jewel to move up uh, my compass on the research track. Which gets, gets you a compass. Another compass. Yep. Okay, Russ. All right, I am going to 
Um, I think this is the best play. I'm going to spend this mm -hmm. as a movement. Yeah. And I'm going to move this dude over to here. If yeah. I'm correct, I can do that. Yeah. And I get those rewards. You get those rewards. Okay. So you get a card, a gold, and a tablet. Yeah. And I'll draw the card. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Back to Tom. I am going to play this just to get it compass mm -hmm. and then for the action I will turn it into a jewel. Nice. Back to Matt. Um, I think I'm going to pass. Okay. Russ? Oh, uh, I, I was going to um, I'm going to move my book up by spending stuff but I'm just looking at the stuff I've got. Mm -hmm. Do I want to spend two arrows or one of each of the other things. I think one of each of the things is probably best. I'm just going to just move them around a little bit so I can plan ahead a little bit. Okay. So I'll have one of everything except the jewel, which is... Okay, that's fine. All right. So uh, I think let's... Hmm. Let's move up this one first to beat Tom. Okay. Um, yeah. And so I get the two, uh, two compasses. Yeah, you'll get two I compasses. Spend. You have to spend a gold, a tablet, and an arrowhead. Yeah, there we go. So I spend those. Okay. And I get two two compasses. Okay, cool. Yep. Tom? I'm going to move my book there. Mm -hmm. Which gets you three compasses. Oh, uh, yeah. And then Matt? I've passed. Oh, you have. Back to you, Russ. All right, I'm going to move my book now using this. Yep. So I spend one of everything. Um, uh, not one of everything at all. Yeah, That's you not spend true, a gold, a tablet, and a red. <laughs> I spend those, and then I flip this yep. and upgrade it. Um, and I may as well use that use now it. to get another yep. compass. Get a compass and exile a card. Yeah, and let's get rid of this gold card. Yep. Uh, where can I... Just oh, there, stick, stick it over here, yeah. Sweet. Okay, All right. to you, Tom. I... Is he going to use it? Is he going to use it? I'm going to use my journal. He's going to use it. And might as well bump that so, up there. So, exile the card. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. So, God. Get rid of that. Nice. And That's that gives so you nice. a free so artifact. Yeah, which you may use immediately. I will... i relocate a dude. Yeah. Hmm. It can only get relocated to the, the bad place. <laughs> uh, well, I I'll have the expensive one then. So I gain a item for free on the top of my deck. Yeah. And it it might as well be an ostrich. I'll draw okay. another card. What's um? Oh, did that let you put stuff on the top of your deck? That's so good. And mm. um, what's the deal with? Being the first person to get to the top here. Uh, we'll you finish this points. round and then I'll tell you. All right. Because Matt's Matt's part. Unless you're going to do it this round, I don't think you are. Right? I don't think I can. No, no but no, I'll explain it at the end of the round. Um, I'm just wondering. I haven't got any. Can I? Can I move to a different place? No. Not without so, a relocate action. A relocate action. Okay, so I can't spend this. So I may as well just take the gold. Mm -hmm. I think you've used this as well. This assistant was used. Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So take, take a gold, gold and, and then are you passing? Then I am passing as well. Yep. Yeah. Tom? Uh, how many of these have I got? Actually, is there a... Three. Is there a no, they can't buy... Oh, actually, look, compasses. I've got compasses. I can spend you them on this... You could buy an artifact, artifact if you wanted artifact, to. Yeah. Um, is there anything like... Depends if you want those compasses to go exploring next round, because next round is the last round. Yeah. But I have a card that I'm guaranteed. Uh, oh no, not guaranteed to draw actually because it's that one. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I will probably save it, and if I don't okay. go exploring, then I can always buy something next round. It's just I could have used it. Yeah, twice, but it's fine. So, Tom, uh, I oh. I'm gonna relocate actually. Actually, oh, if I God. bought that, if yeah. I bought that, and you I could, could move. It. I could move it, and I and I would have been able to spend my 
card, wouldn't I? But I can't because I've spent it already. Which card? Uh, the card that I spent to get that gold. This funding card. Uh, so right. if I had the fund... So I could have potentially... Um, Oh, but I would have only got that one anyway, wouldn't I? Actually, yeah. that's fine. I'll leave it. Yeah, yeah that's okay. fine. Right. So anyway, Tom, you were doing stuff. So, so I can I can buy that and go to... This is the only available one, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go there. And so I just get... Well, you can actually go to any of them. You can go to these as well, if you wanted to. Oh, an unexplored one? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 a base camp one. Oh, oh, I, I see. Yeah. Uh, hmm. No, I like, I like, I like yeah, the idea like, of having like an arrowhead. Stuff. Yeah. And oh, that noise is just come back again. Chips are coming in. Yeah. <laughs> if, what if is that noise? Like, if it's a humming right. noise, it's because there's um, a problem with the kind of boiler in my. Ah, uh, that's what it is. But, Sorry, I didn't know you were. <laughs> I'd noticed it. I was. Yeah. I guess I was too focused on the game. <laughs> Sounded like a steamship was going past. Right. Anybody got any other actions to take this round? Uh, no. I'm, I'm done. I think I think everybody's I'm, done, aren't they? Or has Tom I'm still gonna, got... Oh, he has. I'm going to move up there. Yeah. Spending a, a gold, a tablet, gold. and an arrowhead, but getting a compass. Mm -hmm. And then I think, uh, I think that's it now. Okay. Right. So let's do the fear cards. So red gets a fear card at the end of the round. And then take your um, take your archaeologist back. I'll take your art. Yeah, okay, fine. Then sort your deck out. Draw five cards. Don't forget to shuffle. I do. Shuffle. Yeah. Assistance. Refresh. Um. Okay. Oh, this should have shuffled down. Then that should have gone. That should have gone. That moves on. These slide down, and then we get some final cards for the final round. Oh, time for my torch to come into play. Okay. Starting player passes. Uh, I think we are ready to go. So I was going to explain how the final bit of the game works. Okay, so basically the first player to advance will put their magnifying glass on the leftmost space. It will be worth that many points at the end of the game. But once mm -hmm. you are on there, you can carry on doing research as shown on here. If you spend either two tablets and a gold, or a jewel, or a compass and an arrowhead, you basically take a bronze statuette from the bronze bag, which is over here, okay? Or idol, okay. as it's called, right? That, that works in exactly the same way as your current idols. Or if you spend two that are adjacent to each other, they combine together and you get a silver one. Or if you spend all three at the same time, you get a gold one. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> and also, as a one-off benefit, when you do progress to the top, you get to exile a card as shown here. So yeah, lots lots of bonuses for getting to the top and then going possibly further. Hmm. Sounds yeah. like you're supposed to do research as a researcher. Ah. <laughs> this is why I left academia. Yes. <laughs> right, so we're off last round. Right. Tommy's first. Okay, so I might as well flip this and go. Oh. Yeah, and draw there you a go. card. And draw a card, yep. Yeah. Ah, that's no good. I... What do I want? Mm. Ships. I will... I'll just come down... Go there if I had two ships. I probably want them for their abilities. I've got a ship and a car. Yeah, I'm just gonna come here. Okay. And get a fear card. A fear card, a compass, a and a jewel. Yep. And a compass, and I need a ship, is it? Uh, you need, yeah, you need a ship to get there. Okay. okay, Matt. Hmm. Yep. 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 Okay. All about um, the birds and the fish, aren't you? 
Um, sure. <laughs> uh, oh, right, yeah, you're looking at my cards. I'm looking at your cards, yeah. Jeez, <laughs> we, you have to tell everyone, God. Um, yeah, oh. just which question is which order to play them in. Um, so I think what I want to do is I'm going to spend my uh, fishing rod um, as a very, very thin boat um, to go visit uh, this uh, terrifying creature. Is that what I want to do? Do I want terrifying creatures? I've got these workers. I've got to do something with them. Yeah. Mm, I could spend two boats and go to my own place. Ah, damn this game. Who made it so hard? Let's go. Uh, I'm going to spend two boats. Mm -hmm. Wait. Wait I a will... minute. Yeah, no, I will spend... There we go. Two boats. Okay, two boats. Uh, to put my work here. I only go to places I've explored. I don't trust. I don't trust these reports from uh, <laughs> competing uh, explorers. I think this two, selling two us, selling us the river. Uh, two compasses and a jewel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God damn it, Russ. <laughs> lock me <lock laughs> out. Actually, technically, if I go there, it's still two cards, and I've got a fear card. But mm -hmm. that is very frustrating. I think I just want a, I just want a jewel. Um, <laughs> um, I need to figure out. That's gonna get me so many more if I get that up for that. Hmm. What's the thing? So as soon as you get up here, you get to exile a card potentially Correct. as well. Correct. Yes. Um, and the other thing I was going to ask you, if I use my assistant about mm -hmm. the one which gets me a compass, yeah. um, do I have to exile a card? I believe it's optional. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That might be all right. I just need to figure out a way to... I mean, unless I get like a token, I can't easily draw a card. Actually, that's not true. You go here. draw there, yeah. Yeah. Cost you a boat um, to get there. Hmm. Yeah, I could probably could probably afford that. And it lets me draw a card. I think I've just got like not very many. I've got two of my bad cards, and I think I only have three bad cards in my entire deck right now. Um, so maybe I'll go there. It's a bit of a risk, but at the end of the day, it's just for fun, right? So okay. I'll go. Uh, I'll I'll spend this. Uh, I'll spend this card. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll move over here. Yeah. I'll take a gold and a tablet, which will probably still come in handy still. Yeah. Anyway. Um, and then and I'll card. draw the card, and then let's see what I got. What did I just do? You threw it on the floor. Oh no! Oh, it's my other bad card. It's oh, your it's other so... bad card. Oh dear! <laughs> That's why you threw it on the floor. That's why I threw it on the floor. Okay, um, and then. Yeah, the designer has confirmed all positive effects are optional. Okay, in that case, um, I'm going to upgrade one of my gold to a jewel using my ability of my assistant mm -hmm. and okay i think that's it for now right okay i'm gonna go he's only go gonna done it so I, oh. I decide i decide this later right this yes. is a future that's a future action yeah. yeah so, so gold, gold compass and a jewel compass he's found it you exile a card I'll get rid of that oh no not you on top not that one exile okay, card and that is your action done you have found the lost found. city of Arnak. Here it was all along. Yeah, it's yeah. there. Look, <laughs> I could have told you that. I'll have to rename the game. Just Arnak now. <laughs> just, just Arnak. The just found the city of Arnak. <laughs> yeah, there's a scratch out the the, the first few words in the box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm still yeah, very disappointed. Yeah, has it? No, I'm still very disappointed they didn't go with my suggested name for the game. But you know, know. can't have everything. Paul Paul gets lost in the jungle. I thought had a certain ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have um, a porno. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness 
me. Um, All right, now that I've killed the mood, is, yes. it, uh, is it my turn? I think so. Fabulous. Right, I am going exploring again, uh, but not not where the actual lost city is. We don't want any of that. Oh, no, 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 uh, no, no. I'm no, much no, more no. about the suburbs. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going here. Two Jeeps, six compasses. Uh, yeah, I have six company uh, compasses. I've got yeah. a Jeep off my Beetle, uh, you which do. Paul, you're going to have to flip I for me. Flip over. And uh, the plane from Amelia. Nice. Um, so if you want to oh, give me whatever rewards I get. Oh, it, wait, just wow. take the tokens. The compass just disappeared. What? Yeah, no, no, no. So, I, I, got, um, I got rid of them for you. There you go. Let me get my uh, tablet. Let's... So you get a gold and a tablet. Yep, I can do that. Uh, do you want to flip over the location? Let's see what we've got. It is... Ooh. Oh, that's such a good one. I don't there think that's going to be good. Did yours loaded faster than mine? Yes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ooh, a card. And Draw a again. card, get a tablet, and oh. a jewel. Oh, that's really that is... good. That is really good. And let's see who's uh, who's standing in I front of it. Wants, I hope he needs jewels or tablets. He needs gold. No. Loads he of gold. He needs gold. How yeah, much gold? Just pay him off. Four. <laughs> Four. Oh, it's not snapping correctly. Yeah, Four. it's not quite oh, snapping got, correctly. Four gold. I'm one short. Ah, but you've got tokens, remember? You can use a token to gain gold. I, I can. You've got idols. Idols can be yeah. used to gain gold. Uh, but I've also, I'm also drawing a card, aren't I? You are, uh, yes. One. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, good. Okay. <laughs> exactly <laughs> what I needed. <laughs> right, Russ. Um, oh, I, <laughs> I think that I'm going to use. Um, I need to. I could get that. Actually. I'm just debating whether I, whether I go. Let's have a look because I can do the other thing now. What's the reward over there? Oh, okay. I think I might do that instead then. So I'm going to spend my assistant. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, if I spent this first. Yeah. Oh, no, but I need to move. Oh, God. Okay, this is a pain in the ass. I might just to get rid of that for, for nothing. But it's worth minus one point, isn't it? So it's yeah. still worth getting rid of. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. Unless there's anything really good in the artifacts, because you get to use those straight away, don't you? And that's a draw card, but that's a lot of compasses. But I think there's a good chance I'll get something if I go and explore. Okay. Um, and it is, yes, going to be minus one point because I probably can't fight the thing. So yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna play this card. Yeah. Which gets me one compass. Yeah. And I'm gonna use my assistant to gain me another compass. Another compass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's my turn, I think, isn't it? Uh, it was. Yes, Tom. Yeah. Oh no. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't I know. I might as well activate these. Yeah, three gold and an arrowhead. Uh, two, three. So how much is this? Gold, two tablets. Ah, I need the. I need the rare pearl. Uh, I'm going to exile this flask then to draw three cards. To draw three cards, yep. Let's see what we find. Ah, oh, nout. Okay. Over to you, Matt. Cool. Um, so I am going to spend uh, this uh, funding card to get that coin I need. Oh, and then you're going to battle the. Oh, sorry, not battle. Pay off the. Pay the... off the uh, monkey. Yeah, it looks like a monkey. Just give him loads of jewels. It looks like that's what he. He, he doesn't want jewels, he wants gold. No, but look on his... What's um, the uh, reward for the this? Upgrade? Uh, yeah, that's the old icon for upgrade. So ah. it's, been, it's been changed in a few ah. places. It hasn't been changed on that one yet. Cool. No, that's, that is good. Uh, I imagine I can make good use of that at some point. Okay. Cool. Uh, back to you, Russ. Okay, well, I'm going to go exploring. Hooray! Right. Yay! Uh, <laughs> so, actually, um, I'm going to spend uh, the 
Uh, I don't want to spend both of these cards because they both give me stuff, but um, they have to. I have to if I want to go there. So I'll spend this as the vote. That's the only way yeah. of doing it, right? Isn't it? Yeah. I was three votes. Got. Fine. And then I'm gonna go over to the boat place over here. So you're here. spending six compasses. Yeah. And I'll take One, two, three, these, and I'll I'll get their rewards. One six. second. So I get a tablet and a yeah. gold. Okay. And then nice. what do I get? I just hope there's like a crystal or a draw card or something on it. It is. None. Neither of those. Oh, this sucks so much. It's everything. <laughs> it's everything but. Yeah, no, you should just be better at exploring. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's a gosh. gold compass, okay. tablet, oh, and uh, an arrowhead. Uh, uh, but they might let you kill the monster. Let's see who's in the way. Hey, yeah, it's true. What's the reward for killing the monster? That's five bucks, isn't it? Five Ooh, bucks. It's a big water buffalo thing? I don't know. Well, that's great, because I don't have that card. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> great now, stuff. Remember, you can always spend two gold as if it was any travel icon. That's at the very Can start you? of the hierarchy, yeah. Oh, I did not know that. OK, yeah. that's good to know. Do you get anything for things left at the end of the game? Um, let's have a look on the scoring sheet, which is here. It doesn't look like it. Oh, no. No, this uh, is the scoring is, sheet here. What is the reward for the book here? Is it complete a guardian you're in front of? Uh, just... Oh, that's a good question. I, I will have to. I think it is. I think it's defeat a guardian that you're standing in front of. Yeah. What is this thing you're talking about? The reward for the book at the, the top. I, I assume that's as far as a book can go. Yes, that is as far as the book can go. Oh, I'm still far away. There's nothing else to write about after that. Oh, we can still hear you. <laughs> I'm right. gonna. All uh, oh, the cards he's got in his hand. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Oh, what I'll what I'll do is keep it simple. I'm just gonna spend a couple of fear cards. Yeah. To get a jewel. Okay. Right, Matt. Hello. Yeah. Um. I. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um. It didn't sound good. No, that's fine. Um, I am spending one of my idols mm -hmm. to get a gold and a compass. That's a free action, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll just take a compass uh, because I'm spending the gold and a jewel to move up on the research track. Okay, which gets me another compass, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. I I'll think I will. Uh, I'll move your thing up. There you go. I think I'm going to do this thing here. So I move my research up on there. So I have to spend a gold, a, gold, a compass, compass, and a jewel. And you can exile a card if you want to. Nah. Yeah. Not even There's the no, fear card? No, I will. Because you might need it. I don't think I will. My Both my explorers are out there. That's true. Yeah, so you don't. Yeah, so I may as well, I guess. Yeah, get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, let's get rid of a point. Yeah, fine. Okay. Okay. Tom. I'm going to get rid of this big bunch of stuff yeah. for a gold. So you've got oh, rid of a gold, two tablets, a jewel, a compass, and an arrowhead. All in one big go. There is, is a, there a compass in there. In there? Isn't there? there he is. There he is. Right. You get a gold, which is one of these. Okay. Which is. Uh, oh, and I get okay. the thing on it. Right, now, we have a slight error here. So, oh, right. the wrong. Elwyn is watching, it looks like we have gold on one side and on the other side is silver, so that's not correct. So, there's obviously some bug with the mod. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a silver one out. Oh, no, hang on. Draw me one in paint. <laughs> yep, no, there's something wrong with the, the mod. So, uh, it looks like the gold... We'll, tr we'll try and fix this for the next game tomorrow. But it looks like the gold idols. Oops. <laughs> Have you just given me two gold I, idols? I, I've accidentally dealt the idols out, two per player. Oh, well, that's, that's another 22 points each, lads. Good yeah. work. <laughs> uh, okay, so all we're going to have to do just for now is just get the bonus that was printed on the back, whatever it was. 
compass. compass, but it's worth 11 points at the end of the game. That's a fancy compass. It is. <laughs> and yes, we'll try and fix that in the mod for tomorrow. And I'm done. Okay, right, you're done. Uh, Matt? Right. Um, so I am going to let fly uh, this carrier pigeon. Yeah. Uh, which gets me two tablets, which I'm about to spend. Uh, okay. So don't worry about that. I'm also going to use my um, monkey friend yeah. uh, to turn another tablet into an arrowhead. Yeah. Uh, which lets me move up one more space on the research track and gains and me a draw, card. Draw a card. This could be interesting, or it okay. could be awful. Oh, the noise is back. God. Not, from, not, not from me, though. I don't think. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, so uh, Elwin has just told me that when you get the um, the gold idol just from this, it is just for the points. You don't get the other side of it. What? So I'm going to take the compass away from you. There you go. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Is it my turn? Oh, here's all those gold idols. They're in my hand. <laughs> all those gold idols you were passing out. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I don't get any. A, I don't remember that being on a basic card. No, no, I accidentally gave them two per player. <laughs> right. So right. Mm. So ha so it's two two, one of everything but two tablets. Yeah. One of all oh, right. Would get you a gold. Would get you eleven points. But I'd need to get I'd need to get my hands on. Um, wait, two two gold can be used as anything. Two gold can be used as any travel icon. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. So I could potentially. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I could defeat that mm -hmm. for. I could defeat that for five points, and then potentially net gain of two points because they're not getting a fear card. Interesting. Um, or I could try and finagle it to get some points here, but I'd need to get a jewel and then I'd mm -hmm. spend three points to get that by using my token. Um, maybe, oh wait, what about this other thing that I can do? That's a, again, it's a jewel. Those jewels are very useful, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that I'll spend this card, um, which is just going to give me a gold. Yeah. And that, you know what? I think I am... As silly, as silly as it may be, it, it's going to be be worth seven points to me. Okay. To just um, spend that those two gold as the travel icon. Yeah. And um, that arrow to defeat the thing. So I'll, I'll take that enemy token okay. away. Yeah, uh, is yours. And, yeah, and that's mine. And I think okay. that's my turn done. Tom. Uh, well. I will. I'll play the ostrich, mm -hmm. but I can't move a person, so I'll just draw a card. Okay. Ah. Rubbish. That's it. Right, Matt. Uh, I'm gonna spend a tablet and a jewel uh, to move my compass up here, oh. surging up the, the nerd track. Yeah, the uh, nerd track. Which lets me uh, draw, an, draw another a card. card. Yeah, and also get yes, a compass. Yes, something not rubbish. <laughs> and also, sorry, what? And, you get and also get a compass. Compass oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay, Russ. Oh, um, I am going to take a punt and take one of these um, regular tokens by spending my two tablets and one gold. <laughs> yeah, so at this point it is just, um, it's just three points. Ah, oh, that's fine. Um... Because I don't okay. think I could have done better than that anyway. Okay, Tom. Still got I'm, stuff to do. I'm going to get rid of this for a compass. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play a precision compass. Okay. You can get a artifact. You can buy an artifact with a discount oh, of three. I can, 
can include the. Oh, never mind. There you go. Oh, what's that? Crystal earring. Draw three cards and keep one. Yeah, put one at the top of your deck. Ooh. Mm, yeah, top of the yeah. mm. like, What if they're the best three cards you've ever seen? Exactly. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm going to do that. So I pay one compass. Yeah, and I'm gonna that's have yours. The crystal earring and. I put one of these three back to the so, top of my deck. Okay. Yeah, draw up to three, keep one of them, and then you and may then return one to the top of your deck. Bye bye, fear. And then you discard the other ones. Oh, what? oh one just goes on the top of my deck. Oh. Yeah, well, you may return one to the top of the deck. Uh, and then the rest of yeah. them you don't keep go okay, to that your was rubbish, then. discard. Uh, right, Matt. Somebody buy the earrings, it's rubbish. <laughs> uh, final uh, Furious Parrot. Yeah. Will let me overcome my fear. Uh, gain a jewel, nice. And uh, gain a jewel. Yeah. Yeah, my parrot. Hmm? Okay. Russ? I um, think I'm done because I only I have a tablet done. left. You yeah. are done. I'm done. Yeah. I'm okay. Done. Tom? Oh no. Uh, what can I do here? I. Can, can you do this again? Yeah. Again. Yeah, you can keep doing Final. this. Yeah. That is sickening. <laughs> mm, I. Well, yeah, it's worth a point. So I lose two points by putting this here. Yeah. But I can get two uh, tablets. Two tablets. And then I'll spend the two tablets along with the gold to get to just get a a three point bronze, bronze idol. Gets me a compass. No, it doesn't. Oh. Yeah, no. The, oh, these idols. These, when you buy these, they don't have anything. Yeah, inside. correct. Okay. These are just uh, these are just the points. Yeah. Okay, back to you, cool. Matt. Right. Um, okay, uh, I am uh, using up my assistant to get a tablet which lets me run my mortar yep which lets me trash my last fear card and get two nice. gold I've put your gold on and your board get, thank you very much uh, Russ has passed back to Tom um, I I think oh, this is this is just eking out points here it is. But I yeah. think I can get a single more point. Yay, do it. Do it. <laughs> putting that on there, and then I get the. What have I got? Oh, that's a cut. Yeah, an easy way around. Of... I'll get two tablets. Two tablets. Oh, actually, could I have done something else? Is that my is that my turn doing that, or is that a free action? No, that's a free action. Yeah. Okay, so then I'll play the stone key and pay a tablet. I don't know why I'm doing it this way around. I could have just got the thing in the first place. <laughs> Turn a gold into a root into a jewel. And yeah. Then what else? So I might as well play these. I've got a compass and a gold. Yeah. So I think that I think all of that okay. amounts to though just buying the thing in the middle after yeah. all of that. I just have a. I should have waited and got a seven point one, but yeah. I get another. I get another bronze one. Another bronze one. So technically, that's another action on another turn, but that's fine. Right, Matt. Yeah, uh, I spend a gold, a compass, and a jewel to move my magnifying glass to Arnak. I found Arnak, guys. You won't believe what I've just found. Oh, you're all there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been here a month, mate. It's just you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you uh, pretty I did that voice, yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you get to exile a card if you want to, but unless you have a fear card, you probably don't. At this uh, stage I game. don't. I don't need to exile no. anything now. No. Uh, anything more, Tom? No, I think that's. I think that's all I can do. Okay, Matt. Anything else? Yeah, I can do a couple more things. So I've got this exploration card, which will get yeah. me another compass. I can. I'm going to take a risk here. No, I'm not actually taking any risk. Um, I will put uh, my idol there, which gets me to get another compass mm -hmm. and gold. So I'm now on four compasses and two gold. Two gold. Yeah. Wait, you're on three compasses, aren't you? 
No, he, he I hasn't taken just the one. played one. I see. Okay, yeah. got it, got it, got it. There you go. Um, and I'm spending those four compasses to buy the treasure chest. Ah, to draw another card. And it's worth three points. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, brilliant. So that kind of pays for uh, pays for itself there, and I draw another card, which is funding. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you could. I get. Could, I get you, three coins. Yeah. I could buy yeah, could, the large buy, backpack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Sold. And draw a card from the bottom of your deck. No, because oh, it's an item. Be, oh, it goes to the bottom it. of my deck. Yeah. Okay, goes to the bottom have, of your deck. I have though spent all of my resources, uh, which feels pretty good. Talk so about I efficient. I I'm exactly <laughs> with my leftover tablet. Thank you very much. Right. Okay, so we have a built-in score pad. Okay. Oh, let's see if it let's see if it works. Sort of works. Yeah. <laughs> you have to write on it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So first of all, points for magnifying glasses and books. Russ. Oh, okay. Um, my book is worth four, and my magnifying glass is twenty-one. So twenty-five. Twenty-five. Tom. Uh, um, twenty-two and eight, so thirty. Thirty and Matt. Uh, 21. 21. Okay. Points for Guardians. Five points per Guardian. Russ? Uh, oh, 10. 10. Tom? Uh, five. Five. Matt? Uh, 15. 15. Okay. Uh, points for Items. So go through all of your cards in your deck. Oh, what? Played and everything else. And just... Oh, just items. Yeah, Is just there items. Is easy way of doing this? No. No. Oh, okay, draw them cool. all into your hand, maybe? Uh, maybe that's a good idea. Yeah. Five, five points for me. Five points for items. Yeah. Tom? Uh, four? Four. And Matt? Uh, sorry, is this items and artifacts? No, just, just items. items first. Okay. This is going to take me a while because I bought a lot of cards. Okay. Well, we'll do Russ's artifacts next. Uh, I think it's just two for artifacts for me. Okay. Tom? Artifacts? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, dear. I was reading. Uh, three. Five, six, eight. Okay. Seven. Okay. Uh, so items. 13. Items. Thirteen. And artifacts. Uh, six. Okay. Fear cards, Russ. Uh, oh, zero. Gosh, zero. Tom? Uh, five. So five fear cards. Okay, Matt? Um, one. Turns out. Okay, and I guess this is just add them up. So. Wait, no, did we not get points for tokens? Idols? Oh, yeah, that's not on here, but it should be on here. So, yeah, points for idols and stuff like that. Go on, Russ. Right. Uh, that's not 20. on this list. 20. 20. I think. And Tom? 23. 23. Matt? 15. 15. Right, okay, so let's add them up. Russ, 25, 35, 40, uh, 50, 60, 62. So 62 for Russ. Sweet. Uh, Tom, 30, 35, 39, 39, 47, 42, 42, 65. 65 for Tom and for Matt. 21, 36, 46, 49, 49, 55, 54, 69, wow. 62, 65, 69. There you go. Fairly close. Yes. Yeah, pretty nice. close. Yeah. Like an Amorak. <laughs> See, turns up late to the city, but still manages to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you got a lot of points there from items and from guardians. Yeah, all about kicking ass. Yeah. And buying stuff. Buying stuff. <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you very much for playing. That was my first full tutorial and playthrough of uh, Lotharines of Arnak. It is still in development, although what you're seeing here, I am pretty sure this is 99% complete as a game. They might be tweaking a couple of little things, but other than that, I, I think it's pretty much there. Um, Nine. Yeah. Oh, pretty finished.
Yeah. Yeah, I really liked it. I thought it yeah. was a really fun game with like not nice decision like trees. Mm -hmm. Like, do I do this? Or do I go for that? And um, yeah, just like I like any game with like a race track. Kind of mm -hmm. have to race up to try and get that. And I always think like, um, you know, trying to get all of the right stuff at the right time is so such a satisfying thing when you can get it to work. Yeah. Yeah. So how long do you think this game would take? If you three sat around a table to play this game and you all knew how to play, how long do you think it would be? Probably like an hour and a half, max. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once, we, once I knew what I was doing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, first game's always going to be longer. Playing remotely is always going to be longer. Yeah, tabletop um, simulator first. Tabletop uh, simulator game first. Game of that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, no, that, that, that was cool. So yeah, thank you very much for, for joining me this evening. Yeah, I'm oh, thank thanks you. for inviting. That's all right. Do you want to just do a quick shout out to say where people can find you? Because you've each got your own media outlets. Russ, do you want to go first? Yeah, um, I, I prefer Chits and Giggles. So um, you can find me on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. Um, and I think that's it, really. And Facebook, but I don't really use that. But yeah, the, the Twitch and the, and the Twitter are probably like my biggest things yeah. right now. So yeah, Tom? just four Chits and Giggles and that's it. Tom? Hello. Uh, I'm Slicker Drips on YouTube. Playthroughs and stuff. The slickest ones. The slickest Ooh. ones. <laughs> See what you did there. I do. Right. Uh, and Matt, you are you are still going, even though you, I you said you were retiring and you're not retiring. Well, <laughs> I, had, I, I went into semi-retirement because I, I had a baby six months ago. Yeah. But I have, still have a YouTube channel and it is still producing content and there are lots of plans to produce more content. So that's mm -hmm. at Creaking Shelves. And I'm also at Creaking Shelf on Twitter. Yep. Cool. Lots of, very, so, yes. lots of puns. Lots and lots of puns, yes. <laughs> there may be some about fishing rods and parrots in the next video. We will Who see. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> right. OK, so I'm going to hang up the messenger call. Thank you very much for joining me. If I can work out how to hang up the messenger call. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> so yeah, cheers for, for joining me. Right, and there we go. So that was the first of five playthroughs. No, four playthroughs. I can't remember now. I'm either doing four or five of this over the weekend. Uh, yeah, this was Lost Ruins of Arnak. I will be back tomorrow uh, with some more streams of this with some different people. But in 20 minutes time, in fact, in 15 minutes time, if you're interested, I am going to be doing another live tutorial and playthrough of Under Falling Skies uh, with Steve Tudor from Polyhedron Collider. So that's happening in 15 minutes which means I have 10 minutes to go downstairs and get something to eat because I'm very hungry. I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, I'll see you here in 10 or 15 minutes for Under Falling Skies. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I will see you all next time. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.